good way, right? Sure, cut me off. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Geek First Podcast. I am the number one Kylo Ren fanboy, Travis Snell. Adam Hartcaster, Dylan Musk. I am the dark side, Kirk Patzer. I am the Achito Taylor Field. The what? Achito. Achito. What is that? It's where Luke resides. That's Octu. It's not called Octu. It's Octu. No, it's Ashito. No, it's Octu. It's not Octu. It's Octu. No, have you heard anyone pronounce it? It's Ashito. I've heard JJ Abrams say Octu. It's not Octu. <laughs> no blood. Can you way. bring up Octu, the planet Octu? We'll wait. We'll wait until we uh, have two and a half hours. Let's start this. <laughs> yeah. This stuff. Uh, we, if you've not guessed, are doing the Star Wars: The Last Jedi commentary track in honor of Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. We have done a commentary track for everything single Star Wars movie. We're going to be officially caught up now. In the future, I think we're going to do the Christmas special, the Ewoks movies. But for the main ones, we're done. So you can go back and we'll check out. We'll do episode nine. Who knows when, actually. Yeah. At some point. Maybe time with like a Star Wars show whenever yeah. it drops. Maybe Obi-Wan or something. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Why am I here? How is how's that pronounced, Taylor? Did it's Octu. Octu? It's o- no, I say it's oh. Octu. Where is he? Yeah. I don't know, that, man. There must either be a way. Punctuation. So let us know in the comments. We'll try and figure out. But we are, yeah, we're doing a commentary track for Last Jedi. Check out, we've done the Rise of Skywalker predictions. Check out the Mandalorian. We reviewed all those episodes. And check out, of course, the Rise of Skywalker uh, review when that drops. Taylor, I'm going to start with you. How many times have you seen this movie? What did you feel about when you first saw it? And um, general thoughts. When, when I first saw this movie, I, I was definitely in love with it. I think, uh, I'm, I just remember popping off with Kirkland on our review. Like, I think oh, yeah, you guys we did. had. Some problems with it. I know you it liked was, it, but well, I, I, it was yeah. You and uh, Kirkland were in the really like camp. I was the liked it, and Briggs and Dylan were in the yeah. disappointed. Yeah, had some issues. You know, yeah. no one, no, no one gave it like fail or so it was like trash movie. Like Dylan doesn't do rate anything. Briggs gave it, like a six. You know, like I don't think any of us think this is like one of the worst movies ever made. But there was some disappointment around no, the room. I, like going back on it, there's definitely some problems I do have with the film now. But that doesn't for me it doesn't take away as being like a bad Star Wars movie. I enjoy it. It feels like Star Wars and overall it's it's a great experience i it was definitely something i enjoyed i've we wa- i've watched it so many times over i've watched it with um where it's only the score version which is just fantastic it's just yeah i still gotta do that it, it's just overall it's it's a good star wars experience um and i'm excited to finally be here commenting Kirkland. because dylan i read <laughs> this is my turn so <laughs> <laughs> the yeah the last jedi i feel like i mean as well as taylor we're kind of the minorities of people that really like this film. Um, there's definitely some issues in it, and I'm kind of excited to just talk about them with you guys. And because there's definitely some scenes that I really did not like in this film, but there's just a lot of like OMG, holy shit moments for this film that I just loved. They just blew me away. Um, spoilers. I guess we don't have to worry about it since we're going to be talking about it anyways. <laughs> um, like when Yoda appeared, I just thought that was something I was not expecting going to this film. That um, made me cry in the theater. Yeah, that was just amazing. Um, there's just really good cinematography shots in this film. I think my favorite scene is like the throne room battle between Kylo and or Kylo and Rey versus the, what are they called? Just Praetorian Inquisitors. guards. Praetorian guards? Damn, that's not what I thought. <laughs> I thought they were like Inquisitors or something. Goes to show my lack of knowledge. If only. But um, yeah, no, I I don't know. I'm. It's weird because I haven't seen this film since it's been out of theaters. So. And we'll, I will remind we'll you when you it. watch Solo that uh, that took a. I don't think it'll be a dramatic drop like that, but you had a lot more problems with Solo the second time you watched it. And you're like, I think you failed it actually. I don't think I loved it as much as I like like True. Last Jedi though from like the first view. So mm. I don't think it'll drop too much, but. Yeah, I know. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> and did you ever watch Force Awakens again? Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure. Yeah, I I, I really like that one actually. Th- mm-hmm. That that's one that kind of it kind of stays at that the, the same level as it was from when I first saw it. When I first saw it, I think I was just so overblown with like hype that like Star Wars was back. Mm-hmm. So obviously it's just like a ten out of ten because it's just Star Wars back and this is awesome. But uh, maybe dropped like just a little bit, but not not a big dip like Solo or something like that. <laughs> I have two mics today. Um, one of them doesn't work. Last Jedi. So this, yeah, as Travis kind of said, I think when I came out of the theaters on this one, I was not too stoked on it. Uh, I generally, I think my, if I'm thinking back to what I thought then, I would say that my, I really liked the Ray and Kylo stuff just in general across the board. But then everything else was just kind of mediocre, or I felt like it was kind of a bad decision. And then the only time I've rewatched this movie was actually kind of recently. I think it was. It was September or August, so, you know, not too long ago. 
And I liked it more, but not a significant amount more, just like slightly up. Kind of how when I watch Force Awakens every time, I just kind of slightly get less and less hyped on it, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's a, I think it's a fun movie. I think there's some great stuff in here, but there's also a lot of uh, kind of garbage to sweep away. But I'm excited to do this because I've still got my uh, Canon junkie over here to my left. So uh, mm-hmm. you guys can always help break down some stuff that I, maybe I missed, you know, some fun details. And while I don't think there was tons of those for like, I don't know, Rogue One or, or Solo, I think this is definitely, the, I feel like the main line trilogies always have a bunch of good stuff in there that I maybe don't always catch on. So I'm pretty excited. I've been looking forward to this particular cast. Yeah. Yes, because Dylan loves me bringing this up, but I still feel on the podcast, this BVS or Snyder Cut, like, those are the things that people still talk about. Like still Very arguing about, yeah. yeah, still polls about, still divide the fans. So... Um, yeah, I like this movie a lot. I think I'm in Dylan's camp as I like things more, but I, I know he's not a big fan of Luke stuff, but for me, it's the Luke, the Ray, the Kylo stuff. I think the Ray and Kylo stuff is peak Star Wars. I think it's some of the best. You could say that's the best Star Wars, and I wouldn't argue with you. I still at one point want to download this movie and make a cut of this movie and take everything else out and just have a Ray, Kylo, Luke movie because mm-hmm. I, I don't need the other stuff, and I'll talk about that here. That's the thing where I think I when I rate it, it was like an eight. I think this is somewhere in like a seven, seven point five era now because it's just the more when you watch the stuff with the other characters, it just doesn't matter and stuff doesn't make sense. And it's not not the worst thing. Some people like for me, I always say, and I do agree that the, some of the prequel stuff is more enjoyable. But I still think as a film, the way it functions, it makes sense. It's beautifully made. Ryan Johnson's a great filmmaker. But uh, yeah, I do have some problems with this. So and it's one of these movies that some days I watch it, I like it more than in the past and some days I watch it I don't like this but the Ray and Kyle stuff specifically really hit home the Luke stuff I'm fine with I know people debate that all the time for me I always look at I don't know how I would have done Luke Skywalker it's been 30 years he's coming back it's like I think anyone was going to be disappointed because that's just a tough thing to do right so I was fine with the route they went and uh, I I, I, I like Mark Hamill on this film I'll point out some acting things but uh, yeah Good point. Let's do this we're going to watch this so we are definitely hyped on Ryan Johnson after Knives Out recently so Oh, I turned the audio off. So we're just at the Lucasfilm logo right now. So if you want to watch along. You're still on the Spurs thing. Yeah. <laughs> also, Taylor, it's heavily debated. Those are Spurs, 100%. Yeah, Check out totally. our Mandalorian What's 5 episode debated? about how you say Oct 2. There's some hosts that did say Oct 2, but then uh, that's okay. we're on the crawl. <laughs> Other people more. have said that it is Oct 2, uh, but yeah, okay. we're on the crawl do, right do, now. Do, do, do. There we are. A Sorry. few days ago, uh, Taylor did not know that was the number 8 because he was like, that was an Enforced Awake. Oh, that was, yeah, you already been Roman numeral. Yeah. A v, Fucking Roman numerals, v let me tell five. you. Or sorry, and then there's three numbers after that for a total of V1 is 6, V2 is 7. It was the reverse i sent him uh oh there's gonna be more backstory on finn's uh origin just like in v11 and he's like there was not or yeah v11 he's like there was nothing in last jedi i said look at the headline he's like yeah there is nothing about finn's origin in last jedi and i just kept roman numerals kept i can't do it them. uh I, I like roman numerals i think they're i do cool. too yeah. like i had major respect that they're the software first of all, they're classy it. as fuck yeah yeah right. Uh, check out our Saw retrospective. We've done that before. I'm going to turn on subtitles because so the mm-hmm. movie's going to stop for just a second. <gasps> I am going to say at 119. Now already my one of my cons with this is I did not like for the first time a Star Wars movie taking place directly after its predecessor. Why I is like that a it's con? The crawl spaced. is just ended if you're watching along, by the first way. First of all, I like it's something different, but why? How where would you have done? Cuz with Luke, I honestly you can't would have jump jumped any time. No, but I feel like they could have like even when you look at uh, how similar Force Awakens was to A New Hope. Basically, they had to relocate their base. We didn't need to see them doing that again in this sense. They could have changed it up where they're already traveling in space trying to find a new base or something like that and then have it pick up from there or show that Ray has been training already a little bit of time. But with no, Luke. again, I, I think you can't. I think that's highly disappointing if the last shot of Force Awakens is Ray and Luke together and you don't yeah. hear that that's first conversation. Right? Yeah, because I feel like Luke Skywalker's first words in the new trilogy, you have to be there. So that's where I disagree. But I, then I, I can even get you so on this stuff. Her first, her first words, it wasn't really anything special. It's just go away and he threw the lightsaber. But so that was big because it, it showed his meaner, it, uh, his demeanor. It showed that he didn't want to train her. Because you're saying if you skipped in the training, you missed that whole thing where he's like, the Jedi should end. I don't want to train her, right? I can agree with you on this base space stuff that, yeah, it's similar to Empire. Even as people have said it's so different, there is things similar to uh, Empire in this. Mr. Burns. The sideburns. Yeah, I fucking hate this guy. 
check out well for people that do hate him as long uh, or just like Dylan Moss, check out About Time. It's my favorite romantic comedy of all time. It is fantastic. It's I, him and Rachel McAdams. It's not the actor. I just I don't know. It's the character. Okay. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. But he is he is he's great. Now. He looks cheesy. like he doesn't get enough sleep. He's way too, too. cheesy for how intimidating he's supposed to be. <laughs> See, I don't. What a great I don't. Ship. I don't know if I think they make him a little too comedic in this movie, but I don't think he's supposed to be intimidating. I think he's supposed to be like a poser. But I do think they hit the comedy beats a bit too much with him in this one specifically. What does that sound? Oh, that's my dog snoring. Sure is. <laughs> I thought it was Taylor. I'm just saying I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I look like a light. This I is know. a beautifully modified T70 X-wing. Mm-hmm. There has been clips going around where in one ship in Rise Skywalker, Poe has R2 in the back, so that's pretty cool. That's so cool. Some change of the droids, that's fun. BB-8 getting bopped. What's the new droid called in the new film? It's like F.O. or something like that. D.O. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know why BB-8 needs his own droid now. This is no more toys. Yeah, you got to sell that merch. Oh, yeah, 100%. I do not like... I don't like this the mat- pulled me out this scene here. Yeah, I don't like this. Uh, Poe's about to make a mom joke. I get it; it fit with Force Awakens because Poe makes a joke with Kylo. But I did not like this humor. Yeah, I really at all. feel like they botched Poe in this movie in general. I agree. I I will even say that to Finn as well too, in my opinion, because he's attached to Rose. And I will say this: you're gonna hear a lot of Rose hate. I'm not one of those guys. I have nothing against Kelly Marie Tran. I'm not a fucking loser on that, that tweet satter. I just have a problem with that character. So that is some people take it and be like, I hate Rose, so I hate Kelly Marie Tran. No, you guys are a bunch of pieces of shit. But as Rose, I am not a fan of that character whatsoever. But yeah, I don't like. I don't he even like slips like the mom joke in there too, yeah. which is like un Star Wars like. Yeah, no, I agree. I think that's Ryan Johnson, where I think Ryan Johnson does some good things in this film to be different than stars, but then I think sometimes he goes too far, and that's one of these yeah. occasions, because he loves subverting expectations. I think so. I just, I generally feel like there's a real lack of interest on my part from the evil forces in the Star Wars universe, mm-hmm. hence I, obviously I'm a big Darth Vader hater, but... Uh, Darth Vader hater. When I see scenes like this, and like I just find these villains super lame and really cheesy, it that's just doesn't fair. do it for me, right? No, yeah. for sure. Whereas, you know, give me that Kylo all day. I definitely kind of forgot about this opening scene, too. Because, <laughs> I, I don't know, it's been a few years since I've seen yeah. this, and it's just forgettable. Like, yeah. the, the comedy there just seems very out of place. Like, it's something you don't really see in yeah. the original films, right? Like, the, I don't know, the 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 the, the Empire at the time, they just seemed a lot more serious. Mm-hmm. And I guess it's just Ryan Johnson doing Ryan Johnson things. Just being a funny guy. He's a fine man. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. Mm-hmm. I like the lighting in this room. Nice red, you know, Empire. The classic yeah. evil red. Yeah, exactly. They really yeah. put it over the Makes top. it more efficient for working. Like, I would love yeah. if... <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> I love if our, pod- <laughs> can see. if our podcast room had that, but with green. I'd, I'd do that for, like, the every I'd once in a while. I'd yeah. do it every day. Yeah. Every, every day. Taylor, you can wear your blogger glasses now for a reason. Yeah, no kidding. My blue light Those glasses. Those are called TIE Fighters, right? Those oh, are yeah. first order Tie Fighters. Yes. Yeah, Dylan, they're first order Tie yeah, Fighters. Yeah, everything's first order. I Is believe the these. Edition? Well, they're, they're different because I th- believe these ones are two seater ones. Oh, okay. Do we ever see two guys in one? Uh, yeah. In Force Awakens, we saw Finn and Poe in them, both double seats, one oh, guy okay. operating the rear cannons. I believe those oh. are the two seater ones. Shout out to the two seaters. Non shouts to Disney, who did not make, well, to get in a rose, who did not make Finn and Poe gay because everyone wanted it and it just made a lot of sense. I, that's one of my biggest things in this movie when we get to Rose. They really? Should, was that a thing people were clamoring for? People have been wanting that since Force Awakens. And Oscar Isaac's been throwing lots of shade at Disney because it sounds like uh, him and John Boyega kind of pitched it. And it sounds like it, they're kind of like, yeah, we don't really want to do that. And he made it sound like it was like, a, we don't really want a main gay character. I'm not, yeah. I'm paraphrasing, but the vibe he was giving in an interview. Because me and Taylor talked about this before cast. They said, oh, do you want to do something on Disney Plus? He said, nope. And they asked him about his future Star Wars. He's like, I'm cashing my chips. So he's been making some comments wow. about Disney lately. Like, he's not too well, happy. I think they so. kind of did him dirty in this one. I think so, yeah. And I think I think he, he made points that maybe him and John Vega did feel like it was a natural progression. Because everyone talks about their chemistry. And I don't see why they couldn't have just lifted Rose and you put Poe in that same position yeah. with him and Finn doing the adventure together. I think that'd be much more enjoyable. Even if they're not romantically linked, just build that relationship. But then Poe in this movie ends up on a ship for a whole hour doing nothing, just being made to look like an yeah, idiot. Yeah, and I think part of the problem I have with Poe is also just, uh, I forget the actress's name, the girl with purple hair. Like, I don't like that character at all Laura either. Dern, yeah. So a lot of the time it's just like them kind of going back and forth and I don't really mm-hmm. care much for that stuff. So. Yeah. But shout out Oscar Isaac, who is a phenomenal actor, and I hope he does many great things. Apocalypse. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's had some villains. tough things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always forget he was Apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> no more superpowers. 
Um, BB 8's great. Yeah. Love me some BB 8. But yeah, I still think Oscar Isaac would have been a great Batman or something like that. So hopefully he ends up somewhere in the future. But yeah, he's go. Everyone go watch Ex Machina if you've oh, not seen that. Yeah, mm-hmm. inside Lou and Davis. Him and Hux are so good. Man. Yeah, that's another. Yeah, him and Donald Gleason. They're great in that movie. It's about robots and love, and it's a really weird I love movie. That movie. The dancing Oscar robots. Isaac has in that movie is, what is really that sexy. Called, Taylor? Oh, that's an A-Wing. And these are new uh, Resistance Bombers. Now, my big problem with this scene is big these bombers obviously carry bigger payloads, but the fact that they disengage using or decommission using their classic Y-Wings and their B-Wing bombers make no sense for why they trade up for these slow-moving bombers that have to require escorts. The Y-Wings could use basically ion cannons and basically render the ship shields useless, yeah. and then you could have your fighters go in and just totally decimate Yeah, the this thing. does seem like a logistical nightmare. For sure. So I'm going to throw out one thing, because I remember remember when we did the review, Briggs had a big problem, too, with some logistics of bombs. One thing Star Wars I give zero fucks about is how any of this the stuff works. Because it. it's fant- it's fantasy. It's not a sci-fi movie. Like, it is sci-fi fantasy. but that And I'm not saying you can't have that, but it's never been a thing when people talk about but this. But they highlighting it, like, here, Oh, right? I know, but it's just, I just go, okay, cool. I just take it as yeah, what it is. It's I guess, I guess I've never the, looked at it as, like, true the way sci-fi. I see it is it's, like... For what Taylor's talking about is mm-hmm. it, it reflects on like their strategic ability. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, like just the bomb. These bombers are a poor choice of attack against this. Exactly. And it the sense of how these bombs dumb. work is just if you were to be in space and were to go like this and push a microphone out, it would just keep going in that direction. These bombs are going down a track, being pushed downwards. So gravity yeah. speaking, they're just being pushed downwards. Right. But again, look at how just they're getting decimated. It's a horrible choice of ship. Unless, I mean, yeah, unless they accept that the fac- sacrifices are going to happen, right? Do you remember who that character is, Kirkland? No one tell him. No. Yeah. Is that Rose, Rose's sister? Yeah. Oh, is that you what you're asking? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah. You, I thought you, she was, like, from I'm another like, movie. What's her name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, it's her uh, sister. Cause Delilah. I <laughs> <laughs> Tulip. <laughs> yeah, no, and that might be on some of me, but I, there's certain things in franchise you just hand wave and physics These bombs and stars. are awesome looking. They're yeah, really cool. I will say. No, Nix is dead, so... Paige Tico. We Paige have a Tico. name. Paige Tico. Tico. Do you know she has the same last name, though? Same last name? I think I Paige is so. one of the most un-Star Wars names of all time. I'll agree. Where's, you know, Taro Talica? I mean, you need him. But Luke is, uh, <laughs> you know... Yeah, yeah I'll true. agree. Yeah, you're right. And there's Ben. Everything ben, like yeah. that. But yeah. even then, I feel like Luke isn't that common of a name. Luke! But maybe I'm Luke! Wrong. That's a very cl- this sh- these shots right here are very classic Ryan Johnson. He uses a lot of stuff like this in Looper, but just this whole, especially at one point when spoilers the bombs do go down and she does it. Uh, spoilers. It's very <laughs> very Ryan Johnson esque. So he has a style. Um, I I think this is a, a little cheesy, but whatever. I, I love that helmet. Fine. I think it's fine. No, it's coming up. It's coming up. You know what's cheesy? What's that? Spoiler alert. When. Uh, uh, Carrie Fisher just flies through space. That that'll be forever my one of my biggest irks of this entire movie. A lot of people do, and it never bugged me that much, to be honest. Yeah. This part right here. Force pull. Oh, okay. Yeah. I f- <laughs> and then yeah, yeah. And they didn't need to go that far. <laughs> it was it was perfect, and it was like yeah. oh so. But that's like look at that. Very cool. Ryan yeah. Johnson and his team are great at shooting I like, movies. Uh, framing wise, it works well because then she's looking down. Yeah. So she was on her back, like. The, the detonator went oh, yeah. past she, her. She definitely <laughs> used some video game magic on that. And one. then you got this going on. Yeah, great stuff. Um, obviously, you know she's going to be important because they're doing all this focus So I guess that her. is kind of the point, right? Because if only one of those ships actually got their bombs off and it did all that, then they were accepting all those sacrifices. So oh, they, they yeah. They should have automated well, those Poe was accepting. Cause Cause Leo wanted to pull Well, because this whole Poe movie's like, about how Poe's a bad leader and he has to right. learn. He's definitely a bad leader. He just lost his whole fleet. He is, but look at he who he's sacrifices. working with. Lord Dern lies to him into a, for an entire fucking movie. No wonder why he's a bad leader. Like, <laughs> I guess he... Well, Poe... I guess, I guess Poe's perspective is that you got to make sacrifices. Yeah. So. And Leia's is like, how are those worth it for the game? Yeah, right? Leia's like, no losses. The Poe is like Tomb a Saga of the neutral. One life to save a million. <laughs> One life to save a million, baby. <laughs> Shout outs to the wig. That's Shout a movie. Shout outs to the wig. One, one day, I don't know how we should have put that on the poll, but because uh, in 2020 for Patreon, we're doing a Mortal Kombat commentary track. And this is a good preview because on Patreon, we're doing a minimum of at least six big commentary tracks that will just be exclusive there. So if you like this, there's com- some coming. But we're doing Mortal Kombat, but I would love to do Tomb Raider at some point because that wig we needed to talk about. Yeah. Check out that review. Yeah. Yeah, Dylan's Snoke. favorite character. Yeah. yeah, Snoke, it's an interesting thing what they do with him, right? One-ups Vader. Yeah, big one-up on Vader. 
That's right. the stuff I don't like with Hawk, so it's too comedy. Right there. But it's just very his sound. He's like, oh! And let, you know. Oh! Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Snoke in, in 2019, you know, in the, on December 2019. I don't know how I feel about it, right? I was because gonna it's all about subverting the expectation. Taylor, before you That's give your gas conversation here, I want to ask Dylan, is there anything they could do in Rise of Skywalker to make that better? Like, I know he's dead. I don't know how to say anything, like... More information or like yeah, so it's weird because to me, like the whole purpose of this is like Force Awakens really makes. I mean, even just like the framing of him being like a giant hologram. You he's think the he's, new bat. You think bad. he's gonna be massive? Yeah. But then they subvert the expectation by just making him die here like unexpectedly. Yeah. Right. But then Johnson. obviously the reason for that, who knows if it was planned from the beginning, was to bring Palpatine back. I I hate Palpatine. So that's to me where. Oh, you hate Palpatine? I really don't like Palpatine. He's even super lame and cheesy. Wow. Super super lame. So to me, like. Obviously, Talking I'm going to give it a fair cheesy. shake, and like JJ, perhaps he can change that, and obviously those are the prequels and whatnot, but uh, I don't know. Really? I'm surprised. That's a hot take. Because lots of people say Palpatine might be the best character. I guess it is, but I also yeah. don't like Darth Vader. Like, I, I feel like... Darth Vader, I get, though, because he's a very one-note, yeah. just a robot. Palpatine, like, he's always... He's the mastermind. He's doing stuff. I think Ema Dermot always puts his, like, 100% into the character. Yeah, like, he's, he's, he's true in the scenery. But that's fair. Hey, that's what we look for is the hot takes, you know? I don't know. I just finished the prequels, so it's like... I know. am the Senate. You can only do so much between him and Anakin, those just cringeworthy scenes, right? Have you ever heard of Darth Plagueis the Wise? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a story of the Jedi. Would <laughs> yeah. Not <laughs> from a Jedi. I love democracy. I love the memes of the prequels, man. I love the prequels. Um... So here's a, a controversial moment that still gets talked about today, and I feel like I'm alone on a rock because everyone takes this as it was for comedy, and it might have been, but I always just took it as, and I'll let the moment happen. <laughs> took a little longer than I thought. I just took it as Luke saw it and was like, fuck this. I don't want to be a part of this at all. But everyone's like, oh, he threw it over the shoulder for a laugh. And I feel like everybody still talks about it. that's. I've never taken it that way. It was just like a no, that's how much he does. He's out of it. Like, I do not care about this anymore. I don't want to see it. But I, I, I guess yeah, I don't really see it as comedy. Yeah. But everyone I talk to is like, why would you play it that's for a comedy joke? gold? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> gold Everyone's favorite joke of the decade. <laughs> I love the design of this little town here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very Nepal. What, what very are they called? Like, Just like the caretakers. Island. The caretakers, yeah. the little aliens. Yeah. I don't like what they're wearing, but well, you have to think too. The last time, the next time he wears his Jedi garb is when he was gonna burn the tree. So you have to think, what was he actually doing at this point that warranted him to wear his Jedi robes? <laughs> jump. You know. Yeah, jump. It could have been something very drastic. <laughs> he's he's not in a good place right Just here. Just wanted to make sure he fit into his, his outfit. <laughs> yeah. True. Getting a little it's thick like the last few years. <laughs> and that's where I will bring up <laughs> because cow's milk. Cause I know <laughs> Alien milk. Dylan's not a fan of everything Mark Hamill does. I'll bring up a few points where yeah. I think he does some really good acting, in my opinion. I, I think uh, there's three, four scenes in particular where I think he could only do it because he knows that character well and he does a good job. I agree with Dylan that Mark Hamill I don't think is the most talented actor in the world, but I think certain times he can turn it on and no one to hit it. I liked that setup of us thinking later on that's how he got back to the planet was showing his ship and we thought before he's a hologram, like, oh, this is his way. Yeah. You know, again, Ryan Johnson subverting expectations, like, oh, you think he's going to use this ship. His poor door, though, you know, like, she didn't need to do that. I lost it. Yeah, it's this part coming up right here. The realization of where it's on, I love just the look of his eyes, his face. The line delivery. I love it. I think it's very subtle. You could make that. And the transition to go in a bit. It's great little like play by play yeah, right there. Great. It's a good transition to oh, Kylo. Look at this room. Yeah, yeah. I would say. Look, look at this line. sexy looking room. You're not, you're not oh. for that Hamill acting, you know? I just lo I love his look. I love how he delivers it's that more line. stuff later. Okay, yeah. I think. But, um, which is strange. Yeah. Taylor, why do you think he rocked the cape in just this one scene? Because he didn't rock in Force Awakens, like the full-on cape like this. Because in Force Awakens, he has like the wrapped up robe thing, right? True. This, he has the Vader this, thing going on. This look without the hood and, and the cape, I Not don't a like fan. it. No. I love the like shoulder cloak and hooded helmet in Force yeah. Awakens. It's and my favorite. I'll say a hot yeah. take because I haven't seen the movie. I'm not digging the new mask either. I thought I would, but seeing it in motion with the red lines fixed, I don't think it looks that cool. I want it to have a hood back on it with yeah. the red lines, then that'd be cool. But the good thing is I don't think he's going to wear that mask much in that movie. Oh. We've seen him very, very lightly in it, so. Room is very cool. Oh, I just love it. 
the red and black. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the coloring. You got the all these armor guards. Of those dudes. Yeah. So we're gonna model and our studio floor. after when we get it. But green, yeah. but green. <laughs> but green. What yeah. are those? What are those knights called? Praetorian guards. Praetorian guards. They must have to polish those floors like at least twice a day. Well, they probably have like pretty advanced Roombas, don't you think? Right. I forgot about the Roombas. Yeah. Later on, Taylor will uh, re uh, will come back to this topic of if Kylo is stronger than Vader because they insinuate that a few times in this movie. He just hasn't unlocked that power, but a few mentions. This is kind of one when the top of his blood, but Luke says some stuff later that would insinuate. Is hubris? No, not <laughs> Taylor. Still doesn't know what hubris means. His hubris. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Snoke, uh, Snoke, 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 Snoke in the pancakes, Snoke in the pancakes, <laughs> <laughs> Bong in the blitz, no. I feel like at this point, one, I love that scar healing. I feel like at this point, though, with Snoke said, you look at it, he has some hair. I feel like you should get a razor and take out that rest a little bit. Like, get rid of that. You don't need it, you know? Uh, I see. Just pull yeah. up. He's got to pluck his eyebrows. Yeah, he does. Cranston and go bald. Yeah, exactly. Throw some facial He's hair. holding on to whatever hair he has left. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's a little fuzzy. <laughs> yeah. Peach fuzz. It looks like a testicle. I'm not. Ooh, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I hope my testicles don't look like that. <laughs> An old man. I'm not a fan of this right here, because I wish they didn't give him the same move set as Palpatine with the Force Lightning. Do <laughs> yeah. something different, or just Force push him. Well, it's d- not the same move set because Dooku used it. It's just kind of like a go-to. No, but it's, very, it's, it's the very aesthetic. S- he's in uh, a he's in a room with a chair with a bunch of guards around him that are red. I'd push same back. as Palpatine. I'd, well, he should have push pushed back. back. <laughs> <laughs> I'd push back on that. I, I feel know. like I, I think it's cool because he didn't shoot it right at him. He just flashed. He it bounced the ground it. Yeah, and, like it exploded. Shoutouts. Why am I just drawing a, bl- a blank on his name right now? Um, Adam Driver. Andy Circus. Yeah. Shout out to Andy Circus. You know, this is the first time we really got to see Snoke in the flesh, and he just delivers Lots it. Lots of flesh. I think the CG's good on him, too, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I think it looks good. Well, Everyone we got to be confirmed and safely conclude that he wasn't like a 20 foot giant. <laughs> this came out, we- <laughs> I was so scared when I saw <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I guess I'm- this is the first time you see him, right? Yeah. Uh, shout out. This is mo- weeks later, but everyone go watch Marriage Story. I watched that day before the cast. Uh, Laura Dern's also in that. Isn't that on Netflix? Netflix. Now? Yeah. Just That's dropped awesome. last night. I'm gonna watch it. It's great. Adam Driver. He. It's him or Phoenix for the Oscar. But if he wins, I'm still in the Phoenix camp. But if he wins, he deserves it. It is him and Scar Jo. Fantastic acting. It's like an actor's That's acting awesome. movie. So my prediction is Adam Driver is going to be the best actor of the 20. Uh, what is it? 2020 to 2030 decade. He's. It's a big one. He's a beast. You know. I'm very interested to see where his career goes after Star Wars because my theory is I think he's done with franchises, but I want him so bad at somewhere in like MC or something. I'm like, Driver and Foggy together. I had him in my, I had him in my draft for a couple of years. Mm-hmm. Like, come on. That's our doctor. Well, that's the thing. I don't think he'd play a villain again. That's why I worry. Yeah. So Something that I really enjoy about this part is it, it, and you learn later on when Luke talks about the flaws of the original Jedi Order, but how... The fact remains that she wants the Jedi Order back and all that, but you know you can't bring the Jedi Order back into another galactic conflict because that's what led to their downfall. And Luke identifies and knows this, which is yeah. again a great why he doesn't want to be a part of it. The Jedi need to remain out of all of that because they're hubris. Cause they saw past it. Because me and Taylor talked about this the other day that uh, Master Yoda is considered the greatest Jedi of all time, but he did kind of let all that stuff go down. So is he that great? I don't know. <laughs> No, but that's it was all for the balance of the force. Well, no, no fuck the balance of the force. I hate we know that now expression. Now that he was getting it on with Yodel or whatever. <laughs> Yaddle. Yodel. Yaddle. Yodel is uh, Yaddle's sister, and you know he went on that. Right. Ooh. Twin Ooh. sisters. Riggs pointed this out on the review, and I've never not seen it. I agree with him that uh, Mark Hamill's head and hair just feels like it's a lot bigger than the rest of his body. So <laughs> yeah, like, very much so. <laughs> it bugs me all the time until he takes that robe off. Yeah, Briggs picks up some like some <laughs> weird little details, oh, yeah. but yeah, he's he's very true. Look at those big mm-hmm. puffers. Man, there must be so big. much nutrients in that. This scene had a lot of um, a lot of people debate. don't like this, but I like it. Oh, I love yeah. it. I love I love. It's you a just great a, gift. Just chugging that Mountain Dew. I just love She's Luke. Like, You're next. Luke just looks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Luke just looks at her and he's just like, "Yeah, I'm Luke Skywalker," and you're like, like just showing, like, look at what this is. What you came here for? This is what I am. I'm drinking milk out of this thing's tip. Oh, like, this is Jedi Fallen Order. Is that CGI or did Luke <laughs> That's CGI. Do his own I don't think Mark Hamill's That's doing his own stunts. <laughs> <laughs> look at that look. He's a eel. Um, I don't like this because he doesn't. Like, have this the whole f- sequence to me is just super cheesy. I agree with you. I wish he had the force, but he doesn't. So I don't believe he could pull this off. Like, look how heavy this would be. I think you could pull that off. No, no, oh, yeah. not a man of his size. It's a lightweight aluminum frame. Do you know how long he was packing Yoda around in Dagobah for? He, he was young that. and spry and had the force. He's none of those oh, things he's now. Young and yeah, spry. he is. He's no, totally. it's just him and his spurs. <laughs> spurs. Check out Mando episode five review. <laughs> um, a lot of people say that the reason that uh, Leia would give Ray that tracker so they could track Ray is again 
uh, insinuating that the lay obviously knows or implies like there is more to her heritage and rise of skywalker that know? was a long journey to get to that <laughs> point which does not make any sense this little They're trip has something again. to do with her her it shows the importance of ray that leia knows a lot more about her than they're leading on well it has some, to be i'm getting some major lighthouse vibes from this sequence oh between these two just doing some weird shit you just on hear the like a huge horn go off i'd be so down if they reenacted that movie her as patterson and him as defoe <laughs> the exact <laughs> same movie down. nothing changed. same script yeah, yeah. yeah. Weeks, two days. yeah i'll give it to you because taylor we've talked about many times that at the time when they reveal Rey as nobody, I did like it. But when you watch Force Awakens again, it is tough because so many characters like, who's the girl? And Han acts so weird around her. So at the moment, I was like, oh, I'm fine with her being nobody. But when you watch F.A. again, you're like, she kind of has to be somebody or these characters look kind of dumb. If they're just like, who's the girl? And Han's like, they're like, why is he doing that? Why is he taking a big, deep breath before he talks to Maz and we cut away? Because yeah. if he she was nobody, you would just have that scene. He goes, I don't know. I just picked her up, you know, mumbo jumbo. But. That's a mumbo jumbo. So I think JJ, the ball's back in his court. She's gonna be a clone. She's gonna be related to somebody. Every yeah, I, I sure. kind of, have, I'm still in that theory that she's related to Sheev and Palpatine. I think he's done. I think she's a petri dish of Anakin, Luke, Sheev, everybody, Yoda. You know, like I think she's gonna be the ultimate Jedi. Fun fact: uh, <laughs> Baby Yoda would be about seventy years mm-hmm. old, 70, 80 years old at this point. Is there gonna be a portal scene, Rise of Skywalker, and he's gonna come out? He's gonna come out, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if that was the exact same scene, but just like in Star Wars, and characters were coming out. You know, Kit Fisto, Jedi. Boba, oh, so cool. yeah, Plo yeah, Goon. Shmi, she comes out. Like big breasts, like that monster had. She's just <laughs> shooting milk. <laughs> oh my God. God! Check out. <laughs> Simmer the fuck down. <laughs> Check out our episode one fa- uh, commentary track. That's where all the Shmi jokes. I began. haven't listened to that in three years, yeah, so yeah. I don't even know what the heck happened there. Oh, I see the island. I see it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going in circles. <laughs> We're going in circles, aren't we? No. <laughs> Jack who? Jack who? <laughs> That's what he should have said. He really that would have been more Ryan Johnson if he said it like mm-hmm. that. I remember this because it was a great moment where uh, Taylor, for all the lo- lead up to Last Jedi, was telling me, no, Jedi are going to be done after this movie. And I'm like, no, he's just going to be mad at the beginning. And Trainer, no, that's not how it's going to happen, Travis. And has to I will say I was <laughs> right that the everyone was thinking like, oh, uh, Rey is going to turn to the dark side. Kylo is reaching out and talking to her in the trailer. Yeah, it's you're like, right no, about that one. Yeah. Definitely was not. Well, no, he was reaching out for the dark side. You're half right, but she wasn't talking to him. Those yeah. scenes were, yeah, you're 50% right. I'll give you the That's 50. at least 75%. Nope, nope, 50. Oh, yeah. That hand's a big thing. Mark like Hamill's hair from the back looks like chewy a little bit. Yeah, very chewy. Like, I like the set, I was going to say. Mm-hmm. D- this feels like a place Dylan would live books. one day. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. The lighthouses <laughs> are super good. The n- Nepalese up mountains. In the, up in the Himalayas, you know. <laughs> with Mark Hamill. Fishing. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't want to hang out with Mark Hamill. You don't? Mark I'm Hamill's a good guy. <laughs> you can hate Lou, but kidding. come on. He's a nice guy. Well, you know, guy. part of it, I think, you know, if you've seen some interviews and stuff, like he himself, Mark Hamill, did not like what they did with Lou. No, he did not. In this movie, and I feel like some of that comes through to Oh, me, yeah. Where he just feels like spiteful for what he has to say. Like in his acting? Yeah. Yeah. I don't get that at all. I th- I feel like Mark Hamill just delivered in his role, no matter like I th- I feel like well, he put whatever else like differences he had aside, but I just feel like he definitely invested everything he had into the character. Still, yeah, maybe past. it's just the ac- maybe it's just the acting quality that is not what not what I'm a fan of. Fun fact: This is what I was gonna say earlier, not the whole conversation thing. Travis shouted me out for. Uh, that Mon Calamarian cruiser is called the Radis, mm-hmm. and named Radis. after uh, Admiral Radis from Rogue One. He's another fish man that sacrifices himself. A Mon yeah. Calamaria? Yeah. I did know that one. You didn't? I did. Oh, you did? Because I've seen Rogue One too many times than I care to share. Rogue <laughs> Once. That is hey, just Rogue like... Rogue Once was enough. <laughs> I And I like Batman versus Superman, but th- that and Rogue One are the two movies I always watch. I'm like, I'm going to really love it this time. And I'm like, damn it, I don't. <laughs> But I still watch them because I'm yeah. like, one of these days it's going to click for me. I still have them watch BVS. Yeah. Next year, Contour oh Track, God. Patreon. You got to pay to see that controversial cast. <laughs> <laughs> it's Frizzy. Frizzy from Mando Episode 5. Frizzy, yeah, she moved up in the world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, just it really 
hits me right where it hurts that they just dished out the Adam Lack bar the way they did. Ryan Johnson did him dirty as fuck. They oh, killed yeah. him <laughs> so dirty. Oh, yeah. Raw dogged him like yeah. no tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. They raw dogged him. Yeah. He just gets killed, like, not off screen, but kind of off screen. Oh, uh, yeah. Does he really deserve an on screen death, though? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. He's possibly the famous. One. It's a trap. Yeah. It's a trap. He might be the most popular saying or gif in Star Wars. Oh, you know? yeah. Yeah, it doesn't mean he's a good character. Huh? He's an amazing character, though. I find that hard to believe. It would have been great if just it wasn't Laura Dern and he was the guy. I just read, I love her earring. Her earrings that she's wearing. I missed it. Those are dope. Hopefully we see her again. They're, they're almost like an extension of the ear. They're, oh yeah. You know, no, from the front. Angle. Oh yeah, yeah. I, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. And then they're you got like little like uh, seashells, <laughs> just golden seashells, just hanging from her ear. You got the Billy shore. Lord in there, Carrie Fisher's daughter. She's back for this uh, right. next one. It looks like she might be paired Show with um, uh, Pippin. Or no, Mary. <laughs> which no, hang Mary. on. Mary. Mary. Yeah, he because he's acting in uh, Rise of Skywalker, and it looks like they might be a couple. So. And JJ did tease that we're going to get our first uh, uh, LGBTQ2 mm. uh, relationship. So I'm nice. not sure what they're going to do there. but uh, I'm really bummed out that they just killed off this her. I wish I could remember her name, but I really <laughs> liked her that she popped in here with her A-wing. Why? I really wish they didn't kill off Who is her. She? I don't know her name, but <laughs> I, I can't remember her name. Well, she, she was, was very awakens. forgettable. No, yeah. she was a new character they introduced. Then why do you care? Probably because some canon comic book somewhere where it's like no, but they, the they adventures of her and they showcased her in the first battle, and it seemed like they were throwing in like a new pilot. I don't think I it was do, a showcase. I love the pilots like Wedge Antilles, Hobby. I love these characters Wedge that they Antilles. throw into there. Look, like that's Kylo. Like, Kylo was going ham there he with his tie interceptor, badass ship. I'm just shades of his grandfather. Killed her off so. I love we're spending time with nothing character and Kylo's on. Right I mean, now. they even show her get a, a death on screen here. That's more than Admiral Ackbar got. That's true. That I'm so with that's you there. huge. <laughs> Maybe that's the whole character, and you wish we got more. Of her? <laughs> no, no. Who the fuck cares? We got way more at the beginning. Uh, Another fun fact: these Mon Calamarian cruisers were actually uh, built as towers and buildings for underwater uh, residents. Fucking talk about Kylo they built Ren them in over space here. and brought them <laughs> down. And then when the Empire came, they weaponized them and sent them into space. Anyway, so back to Kylo Ren, one of the most important characters in Star Wars history, not that chick. Um, I love the parallels <laughs> to Revenge of the Sith with Anakin, and he's going around taking all those ships, and I love seeing Because to me, I've always said Kylo Ren is what Anakin Skywalker is, but with better writing and directing and acting. All that, like his turn, the way he's in the middle of like going back and forth the dark side, that's... I wish Adam Driver existed <laughs> during the prequel era, and maybe George Lucas <laughs> you didn't say direct. Parallels it. <laughs> Revenge of the Sith in what way exactly? The, the right now with the ships and oh. everything. I like, get fun to see, uh, see that back and forth, right? Because that's how the movie opens. Him getting the ship. I love, I love the effect of just the blasters on the shield. It looks so <laughs> sick. And this is how fucking good of an actor Adam Driver is. He's about to take a huge gulp here, and you can feel it in your own throat. He's so good. Like what? Oh my god! Yeah, you was, can that feel that. I just my saliva just left, that was and dry it's so gulch. good. And that's where, again, the character is all over the map because we've had many situations where he could have turned light and he didn't, but he could have went more dark and he didn't. But you assume right here he just thinks his mom's dead now, right? Look at Akbar just getting yeah. popped in the background. You assume though he thinks his mom's dead, right? Or do you think he yeah. would feel that? All right, so Kirkland's scene is coming up here. He knows that she's still yeah. alive. But she before we get the there, that was just phenomenal him. acting. Yeah. Like just his ship, facial. What is that ship called? Tie Interceptor. Tie not interceptor. a tie interceptor. It's a tie <laughs> silencer. Fuck, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, shit. Tie right. silencer. That is such a cool name. Yeah, it's such a cool the name. I can't believe I forgot that. Yeah. I love Star Wars ships. Oh, there's the Roomba. The Roomba. Yeah. The Roomba. <laughs> it's also a toaster. <laughs> Doubles. But yeah, Kirkland's not alone. But I've never had a problem with the Leia scene coming up. I just never. I get, and I actually understand why people dislike it. But it's never. There's something I'll point out later on that bugs the shit out of me. Mm. I'll save that for spoilers. Well, Maybe something to do with a little green guy. But especially just knowing what we know now, like I just feel like that would have been. What do we know? That Carrie Fisher has passed on. Oh, yeah. I right. felt like I th this would have been just such a healthy and good way to kill her off. I, like I mean, healthy in that sentence. Like, it, like, it's beautiful cinematography. It's very emotional. It's like, I can't believe that we're finally losing this, this character. Yeah, the music, too. Yeah. And then it just, we've never really seen her use the force or anything, like, that's why if up she, to this point. Yeah. But I, I guess that it's always been debated, right? If she was force sensitive, you get the answer. I think this depends on what they do in Skywalker because they could give her a good yeah, send off. Yeah. In that. Yeah. And well, exactly. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll have to. to we'll yeah. revisit on the review. Yeah. I exactly. would say it was always debated whether she had the force because Luke confirms that she has that power too, and we see her use it again in Empire. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I just mean, like. I mean, like, are we going to see so I mean, corny? <laughs> you definitely. Yeah. I agree. She's looking like. I think there's one perspective. You got to pace out these deaths, right? Because we just had Han Solo die right. in the last movie, and then like Luke obviously kind of is about to die. Yeah, yeah, here, so it's just like 
Those are a lot of original characters just kill off in a short period of time. She's looking like the Man of Steel Fun right here. fact, and this is a foreshadow, where Leia cuts through the hologram of Snoke's ship is exactly where Lord Dern's character smashes through the ship as well. Good little foreshadow. Yo, that blue bot is sick. I love that question. That blue booty? That blue booty. And I do Nebula? Th- oh, Nebula? I do think it check out our Endgame commentary track. I do wish you could switch from that Leia past year, and I always wish they kept Skywalker alive. I really do. Because I remember when it was just a vision, mm-hmm. and I'm like, oh, Luke's going to make it the next one. It's like, no, he still dies. Like, I guess, you know, but now in retrospect with also Palpatine coming back, it's probably a good idea Luke doesn't come back because that's to return the Jedi. I don't know. JJ, uh, I trust JJ. I love JJ, but he's he's walking on some some tough icicles there. That with his le- next movie <laughs> looks delicious. Oh, yeah. It looks like turkey, and Taylor's a big turkey oh, guy. So. I love turkey. turkey fan. I have to say, this scene coming up, like this scene here with Chewie, is uh, absolutely amazing. But the scene with Luke <laughs> patrolling through the Falcon and scene. just kind of like, um, like it's kind of like just really nostalgic, and especially that little scene he has with R two D two. It's very it's great. Emotional. Yeah, that's where the only time Mark Hamill. That's why I do defend him is. He switches back to like seventies Luke, like just the farm boy when he says when farm he sees R two. He's like R two. Like I forgot that Dylan, you hate Chewie. So you hate Palpatine. Hate you hate Vader. You hate Chewie. Yeah, I, I, I just hate Star Wars. Hate Star Mark Wars Hamill. is highly overrated. That's what I'm telling Hamill. you. I, you know what I do love my man Grievous. I fucking <laughs> love General Grievous. <laughs> I hate this. I love Anakin. Thing. I love. Uh, I love Solo. I love. Eh, I liked Poe and. Force Awakens. This I love Ray. I love nowhere. Kylo. You know, so there's a lot of love in there too. That's it's good. just very divisive. You know, there's n- very not divisive. a lot of characters that fall right in the middle. Mm-hmm. Oh, R2. Like, I love R two. Yeah, R two's great. C three PO. I'd say I put him in the middle. Like right here. Jar Jar love. That's Jar-Jar. full on New Hope. Luke Skywalker right there, and it's great. Skywalker. Yeah, he's with. He's in the smell of sh- <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Kenny <laughs> Baker. Yeah, yeah. passed uh, or passed away. So yeah, shout out to him. He was, he was the R two before this movie or after this movie came out. Before, before, right? Before, yeah. yeah. It was after Force Awakens, I think. Yeah. Him and C- uh, Anthony Daniels, who plays the UPO, hate each other, so right. that's kind of fun. Fuck Anthony Daniels. <laughs> this was such a f- smart thing to do. Oh, such yeah. a great callback. This is, to me, again, and JJ did it as well, too, but th- to me, this is fan service, but it informs the story. It motivates Luke to be like, Okay, one more time for her. Right. I will give this a shot instead of just R two and C three PO and Rogue One being like, "Look, it's a cruiser, sir!" Boo, boo, boo. Like, no, it's, it's just, a tasteful throwback. Yeah, I okay. I'm, I got to touch upon my my, ha- my hatred for the touch the it. prince for Mark Hamill. The, no, the, the Princess Leia just surviving that scene. Okay, yeah. So I do actually really like the moment that they <laughs> Luke have just at standing the end of the over moment. It, sorry, but like at at the end of the movie when he gives her uh, the dice. Yeah, I I, I I really yeah. like that scene. So, and you wouldn't have got it, that exactly, if she died there, right? Exactly. So. And it's really good because we'll talk about it when it comes back to that. Their dialogue is also really good in that scene, too. So, Throwing the Timbits down the couch. Did you find the TV remote? Did that get located? No, I got to b- <laughs> do a big search after this. A little overacting here, but that's all right. She's a known overacting. Laura Dern's fucking purple-ass <laughs> head's in the back there. Laura Dern, who is also fantastic in Marriage Story. I think she could, might win the Oscar for it. She's great. She Fuck plays... Laura Dern. She was she's confirmed great. force sensitive. In this, uh, <laughs> Don't know. She's on the movie, so it didn't count. Confirmed. No, uh, but Laura <laughs> Dern. Confirmed. Yeah, confirmed. not in the movie. So, but she plays Scarlett Johansson's the voice attorney in the movie, and she is just knockout good. So, oh, Lord, spoiler for Marriage Story. It's wow. first ten minutes. It's, it's the road. first ten minutes. I've um, seen the first ten minutes. Have I, Travis Snell? Laura Dern. It sucks because she's such a phenomenal actress, and I'm just not a big fan of this character overall. The story. Yeah. I, I think she acts it fine, but it's just there's. It's just a blame. I don't, I don't like no the Jurassic character. Park. Shout out to <laughs> Nian Nun, who is over there. Who? Yeah. He was uh, riding with Lando in She's Return of the Jedi. He's, a, he's the alien with the big eyes. He's like, <laughs> all right. That guy? He's from Celest. Is he, is he right there? He's You'll see the him. He's stuff. got like the layers of the big chin. Oh, yes. Cheeks. Okay, yes. Thank you. What race is that? Celestian. The guy Celestian. The That's a sick super name. Suspicious. Why? Because he's hairy? He's like the way he's hunched over. That's his kind, though. It's a bit. <laughs> <It's laughs> the trench coat. That guy does not look suspicious. He is no, butt naked underneath that trench coat. Uh, <laughs> he's definitely <a> super naked. <laughs> he's super naked under that coat. He's a lighthouse keeper. Yeah, I, if you're new to this cast, if they don't confirm on the movies, it doesn't fucking matter. So she's not force sensitive. Sorry. I believe Ryan Johnson actually confirmed and said it himself. That In the movie, <laughs> they say that. No, he. Oh yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Ryan I think Johnson? the director says something. I think it counts. No, he says it in Knives Out. You got to make it count. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to show it. <laughs> it's an Easter egg in Knives Out. Yeah. 
But uh, she's come back for Jurassic World. See, so he's talking about fun. fuel consumption here. These are the things I was asking about on Mandalorian. There you go. I want to know how the fuel consumption fuel projections. Works. Oscar Isaac is just a good-looking man. You oh, know? Like the jawline, the nose. Yeah. like That's my fucking Moon Knight right there. So did oh. you guys ever wonder why the Resistance was not part of the New Republic and had to form on their own? I did, but the movies never told me. <laughs> it's some fucking uh, book it, told, you mean? It's a book, yeah. Yeah, stupid. Uh, it's it's a book thing. The Are reason that Leia was kind of like thrown out of the New Republic and not praised for was the First Order spread rumors that she was Vader's daughter and it lost a lot of her pos- yeah. position. And I don't understand why you would not touch upon in the movie because to me that's such a cool thing is like you get back, she's leading oh, yeah. and then she's in a uh, political office and then people find out that she was lying or didn't tell the truth that she was Vader's daughter, the guy that was like like – uh, not like a Hitler, pretty much, or one of the Nazis. It's just like that to me would be such a they cool thing to do. They probably didn't want to do movies. more politics after the prequels. Though. But those are good but politics. It's good. not like trade fair. Like that makes so much sense, and oh, I hate yeah. that they didn't Taylor do that. Field, can you explain the order of command of this <laughs> this squadron of people for me? Uh, Admiral Holdo is well. Leia's one because basically, well, Leia's one. Who's that? Is that Lord Dern? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Basically, all the heads of this command were basically blown out of the. Uh, Ayo. Uh, blown head. Yeah, they were blown away. Blown head. They were basically in the command. Uh, oh no! Introduction yeah, to the like, here comes Rose. Squad blasted. So all the command. All the everyone all the, above her died. Yeah, everyone above her died, but Leia made it back, but she's unconscious. So Laura Dern takes command. Technically speaking, it would have been... So Leia is of higher command, but she's unconscious. She's unconscious. Technically speaking, I think that... No, Admiral Holdo would have been still a higher command than Poe, because Poe was still demoted regardless. Well, she'd have to... Okay, right. Because he was a general, but then pumped down to commander, I think. Like when? Um, uh, Leia did it right before she was blasted. Okay. Yeah. The Finn. The Finn. Oh, oh she's working on pipes all day, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, blown head. Pipes. When I see her, I know what's next, and it's fucking Canto Bite. And it's just like, oh, no, we got to go to this Canto shit planet. Bite? Canto Bite? The casino rich planet. Canto it would be called bite. Canto Bite. When Rose completely destroys her own character multiple times and her motivations. I will we say, don't fight for hate. I'm so glad we tore a I hole in this planet. I will say Rose's <laughs> defense, at least, because, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the character, but... I do think that it's completely unfair, the actress, what she's getting treated I by. I agree. And I definitely yeah. hate that Disney pulled her off a bunch of merch as well. <laughs> yeah, I think that that's was, pretty shitty. That was a shit. They put her back on, but yeah. It was, <laughs> she's, she's always a, the smallest she's on the poster. She's just a useless character, man. Yeah. I 100 agree you don't with run what away Travis when said, hard, where though, we should have just What's had Poe. Yeah. <laughs> Go with them. That's, ol- that's only when I run. And, like, this humor is lame. I, yeah, I just don't. I don't know what Ryan Johnson was trying to achieve with this character. Yeah, so, I will say, when I watched this movie again in. Uh, couple months ago i liked her character more than i did before but that's not saying much and i still hate like the end point of the character the end point is off bothers me so much so cheesy yeah oh why doesn't he just be she's talking about pipes why doesn't he just be like hey i'm going to get ray this girl that helps save people like she's important doesn't care she doesn't know i thought she knows the finn but she doesn't know ray who's used the force okay and like his lightsaber people and beat kylo ren in a fight if they're like hey you see that girl there she fucking beat kylo ren in a fight is she training no we just found her on a planet if finn is huge ray would be being talked about and even when poe meets ray at the end he's like you're I'm Rain. He's like, yeah, I know. So, like, clearly these people are known. So, if you were to say, hey. She works fine pipes all day. She doesn't know all these things. She, she knows, knows who Finn. No, oh, I don't. Oh, yeah. The Stormtrooper Defector. I just think, again, if you were to say, hey, I'm going after Ray, she could be in danger. And Leia. Well, she's in love with Finn, though. So this is another thing, too. Well, yeah, it's so stupid. Which so, to, out- me, yeah, this, to me, the other problem with Rose is that it's like, obviously, the effect of her being in this movie is that that's, like, what Finn's up to is he's hanging out with her. So, it just makes the progression of Finn very uninteresting. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't feel like he can see like solid progression, mm-hmm. which is too bad because John Boyega is a cool dude. He was just on Hot Ones uh, this last week or two I weeks ago. I saw that. I haven't watched it's it yet. It's kind of fun. I, I didn't realize that he has that full-on accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he nails the... He had cool hair in the, mm-hmm. in the interview. Yeah, it's kind of wild. I think he does progress a little bit because at the end they make it that he's finally going to stay and fight for the rebellion instead of himself. Yeah. I just think it's no, done it's, in it's, a very... Sorry, yeah. I shouldn't say that he doesn't like progress at all. It's just that like obviously all the character beats, all the moments happen alongside this other character mm-hmm. who... Like, doesn't feel like she really matters a whole lot. And unfortunately, it feels like, uh, not unfortunately, but I mean, unfortunately yeah. for her, it feels like in episode nine, she's not going to be in that much. She's not been much marketing, and sounds like they've been hinting at, like, she stays at base while all, all her favorite yeah. characters go on an adventure. So, <laughs> hey, Disney Plus, maybe. Someone's you know? got to stay at base. Someone's stay at base. Somebody has to be behind those pipes. Mm-hmm. It's true. <laughs> Where's Rose? <laughs> they get so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> all that gas. All that gas. 
All that gas and stuff. Classic, that tank. yeah, classic Star Wars line. I'm amazed that they got such a complete, detailed uh, schematic blueprint of Snoke's. That's chef. what happens in Rogue's One. In I Rogue like one. that you do that, but then in a, in <laughs> Endgame, when Iron Man just completely just out of nowhere creates the Infinity Gauntlet, nobody pushes back on that at all. He has no prior knowledge to what it is. He's never seen schematics, but he just makes one that works all sides well, or everything all like that. Well, all they do is create a housing unit basically for the stones. But no, to create that sto- that gauntlet. Why are we talking about Endgame right what? now? Just because like the things he points out when he's like, oh, they just got those schematics. But in Endgame, there's only one race appeal that can make this glove and everyone's like yeah all right you know it's tony stark <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> what if she's smarter than him maybe i like that they're kind of taking the things into their own hands and doing whatever they're doing because it kind of just goes to show you know the rebels being rebels it's just they're not just blindly rebels following being orders like the empire does here's my other problem so there finn's trying to escape and then rose is like hey what are you doing no like you're leaving us you're rebelling against us, and then later on, five minutes later, she's doing something to rebel against rebellion. It's for it, but it's just like they, to me, set her up as like a falls the rules type of character. And then five minutes later, she's like, "Yeah, let's go against command and lower Durant." Like, what the fuck? Like that makes zero sense. I'm also not a huge fan of this hologram system. Nope. <laughs> I think it it should have stuck with you know the classic. I don't like the sex show coming up either. Too watch. And I'm a guy that likes sex jokes, but you gotta put them in the right situation. Oh. And then I hate the yeah, it's too marvelry. That's and that's some of the problems. With some of this movie is that the humor feels a little MCU-ish, and I like MCU humor, but none of my Star Wars. Canto bite. Canto bite. Can't take a bite of that planet. The pipes are Boat. always dirty. Hey <laughs> What do you mean you don't like the like just the way the hologram looks? How it's kind of like, the like circular? it's almost like there's like a droid following her. Yeah. She's moving and it's recording. Oh, like a third I person. See. The original yeah. ones were stationary, like an Attack of the Clones. Obi Wan's talking and then he moves out of the range of it and a droid decal walks yeah. into it. Like that's right, cool. Right. I agree with you. I hadn't really thought about it, but you make a good point. I love the way just like the lights seeps through these little huts as mm-hmm. well seeps as through. the uh, what's the tree called? Is it like a Jedi tree? It's a Jedi <laughs> temple tree. Okay. Yeah. Jedi, Jedi Temple tree. That's what it's called. This is my man Kylo Ren. And this is where, I, like, my gal, maybe Ray. not a pass, but this is one of the most creative ways to make a villain and a hero interact. We've never seen Star Wars. I don't think we've seen much of this. Let me know in the comments. Any movie. Just so smart to, like, have them in the same room but not be the same part. So it's not like, why aren't a they hero fighting? And a villain? Yeah. We've had that with Luke and Vader. Not to th- no they they all it is is very being like Luke like I mean like sensing each other I meant like in this sort of way what do you mean with Luke and Vader I feel like you're talking well, about well we've thing. had that in Empire but then we even had when but what Luke what do they do in Empire that Vader's on that ship and you could feel the tension between the two characters that you but know, they weren't was talking it was just it was just talk it was just them sensing each other for them to act off each other to them to emote and everything that's what I mean it is a sense it's a really clever way to get them together but not have to think of a plot reason like oh Kylo and Rey are on the same island at the yeah. same time. It's really smart. I agree with Travis. But then they've even done that in Thank Empire, though, point. after they encountered, and then he was, like, speaking, like, he was speaking out to him, and then he was speaking out to Ben at the same time. Like, it was just, like, a force ghost cesspool of everyone talking in the force. I guess. I don't think they're the same thing, but. I love it. She's so emotional. He's just, like, trying to figure out what's going on. Mm-hmm. I think Adam Driver should do some ASMR, some voice work. He's he like really should. Great voice. I'll write a script for him. I love this. Luke. It's so good. Those doe eyes. Oh, Driver's mm-hmm. just... <laughs> what are those uh, aliens called? The Just the caretakers is their label. For they were too lazy to name them. <laughs> the caretakers. Classic Brian Johnson. But yeah, love. Th- those are the best parts of this movie is every interaction they have, especially the one the hut later on. Ayo. The pseudo sex scene. I was cleaning my blaster. <laughs> so was I. <laughs> so right now we got Ray and Luke. They're about to do some training right now. Ray is I changed. like Ray's costume yep. in this section. The arm wrap things. Very cool. Great mountain. Oct two keeps the arms warm. I was a big fan of mountains. I respect that mountain greatly. It's good grade. 
I would give it. I would put a high on the uh, mountain <laughs> rankings tier list. I love that we get not like a Palpatine or Emperor, but we get Darth Sidious label here by Luke. It's super cool to have that title dropped again. Darth Sidious was another just great like set piece. I guess you could call it just the. The, the the god rays coming in off the, the sun. God rays. Yeah. Many people speculate that Snoke that's in that little yin yang symbol like thing down there. Really? I don't think it I is. I don't think it is. <laughs> no. Many people have been wrong before. Not true. Right. Fucking nerd. Right. Every word in that is wrong. <laughs> oh, damn. What happened there? <laughs> Laying down heat. No guardrails. No. That's a reoccurring theme in the Star Wars universe. You never see guardrails. Mm -hmm, that's true. On the Death Star, no guardrails. <laughs> <laughs> the place of all places. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> I know the Force Ooh, works. Trust me. I like the. Uh, I think this comedic beat here works very well. This was really good. Mm hmm. I feel like it's a Luke thing. I yeah. feel something. <laughs> <laughs> That's the force. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That Korg in the background. He's got those eyes of just a man that's been through some shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man who's mad at the script. <laughs> 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 I will be interested to see what he's going to be like in episode 9. Even if he's just a force ghost, it's going to be interesting to see him and JJ working together and what yeah. scenes may happen. Yeah. If there's any flashbacks, so I'm excited to see a J.J. Luke Skywalker Mark Hamill directed. Mm -hmm. What is it called? I like these cuts. Pronounce it. Mm -hmm. Very Midsommar-ish. Yeah. Very nature doc. Yeah. <laughs> Very nature doc. <laughs> I got like David Attenborough is just yeah. commenting. All right, what else? Mm. Those chickens or those porks had a bad fate. <laughs> yeah, it's, rough. it's the circle of life. Yeah. Well, yeah, it would have been wearing lipstick. Oh yeah, a lip gloss, I'd say. A little lip chap, lip gloss, yeah. a little bit on the it, It's dry. Forest gloss. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Forest> leftover <laughs> from Hans Honey's. <laughs> Hans Honey, yeah, Kira. <laughs> Vanity. Good word. Yeah. Can can you act it out though? The game charades. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no. Sheev's just putting his little tendrils over there. Who's Sheev's again? Sheev? That's Emperor's first name, Sheev Palpatine. Oh, okay. That's a weird name. <laughs> I, I love, I love the way that they kinda mm -hmm. describe and show the dark side in yeah. this film. I just as a fan of the dark side. Yeah. I'm, uh, <laughs> You're a big dark side fan. <laughs> I am. I'd go full dark side. Yeah, you would. Not necessarily evil either. I respect it. Ray not doing a good job resisting it. I like that little That'd be hole so mean. imagery in. there. It looks like the ring looks like or my some like horish. Wow. Yikes. You didn't even resist it. Yeah. And now here comes this line of about Taylor. As far as about Kylo Ren. He wants to talk about his canon stuff. I'll throw canon stuff at him. <laughs> canon that's in the movies. I don't know what he's talking about right now. What are you talking about? Well, Charles? hang on. It's gonna, he's going to say it. Of course you have. Big revelation. Shut up from the force. Yeah. Benjamin. Boom. So, we'll let him finish that off. And even then, that has bigger implications. So, he says he's only seen the strength once before it's been solo. So I thought going this conversation that's about Vader, but he's also faced off against Palpatine. So in this, to me, they are insinuating that he could have the potential of being strong in them. I've always looked at that as like the reason he's not as strong is because he went to the dark side and it limbs off. And that's why I think in Rise Skywalker he's gonna be like, I'm not Kylo, I'm Ben and he's gonna like have the blue lightsaber just and there's gonna be it. like lightning yeah, he's <laughs> just gonna turn on the Thanos with no glove. Like that's what I think they're hinting at is like he could have been yeah. the greatest Jedi of all time, but he took the dark side. He thought that was going to get him power, more powerful, but it didn't. But him saying he's the strongest force he's ever 
face. That's canon right there, Taylor. That's, that's always that's just that's a reoccurring theme. I don't know. They don't like say the it in children. the movies that he's the strongest, so I guess it doesn't count. They said it in the movies right there. That's not like a measurable thing. No, only to Luke. It only says to Luke that he's never seen this He's the greatest Jedi of all time. But they didn't officially say that he's the strongest. Yeah, that doesn't mean. I'm not saying that. I'm I'm saying that's how I take it. That's what they're trying to insinuate. They don't say it in the movies, so it's not. They do. Ryan Johnson does. That's coming from the mouth of some guy who's been chugging like alien milk for the yeah, last Yeah, he's trustworthy years. narrator. Oh, I love just silence. But because, yeah, lots of people throw it like, oh, Kylo. He's not, a snake. he's not that strong. He's not as strong as other people, but they insinuate that multiple times. So Snoke insinuated earlier too, talking about when like she says more murder is Vader. snake. That implies that there's also snake. She like there's the concept that snakes are, are are sneaky things in this universe. Yeah, we definitely actually just encountered some Star Wars snakes in the Clone Wars retro. Oh, they're awful. <laughs> they're awful. Fuck Filoni. But uh, fuck Filoni. Yeah, they have some Earth concepts because they also have hell. They don't talk about it, but Han Solo says, "Oh, like I'll see you in hell." So right. there's some sort of there's some yeah, semblance. Yeah, it's interesting. Oof. Yes, I am. Called him a monster. He dropped his yes, I am. Kyle was monsters. trying his best, but... That's what I was trying to say earlier. Why is it always a reoccurring theme that the children are always just, like, more potential for strength than their, their parents? And it's just breeding the... It's just yeah. breeding, you know? It's just... I'm not saying I don't like it. It's just... It's very common. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I are think those his tears? I think that's just no. It's <laughs> that's a, no. It's his, it's something else. He's gonna. He was with. working the pipes. Again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These pipes are always dirty. And Ray's like, "What? <laughs> Never mind. You've not been on the de- you've not been on the Death Star. <laughs> it's an inside joke, right, guys?" And they just the knights around her are like, "What is he talking about? Why does he keep talking to that girl?" Oh no! Here we go. Can't go um, bite. Look at that yard. Where did Kirkland? Because you always play the middleman. Where did you lean on the Kylo power debate? The Kylo power debate. Yeah, we were debating over here. Like you guys were saying that he's more powerful than Vader. Well, certain lines, people saying some. I'm getting your take, you know. So what are you asking me? I don't know what I'm question. asking. <laughs> the times pass. It, it, we're gone. You're asking me if he has the potential to be stronger. How than do you Vader. take the dialogue? Agree. Okay. Okay. Thank oh, you. like what translates from what they're talking about? Because it's all painted by perspective, and that's just what Luke says. And that's what I'm asking Kirkland. And Luke's not an all-known god, you know, an all-knowing god. Is he an all-knowing god, Kirkland? <laughs> I don't think so. He's oh no. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. When well, you're a hermit and you live on an island and you don't really see anyone, you kind of go a little. There's crazy. a lot of crazy creatures. <sighs> Too much scene. CGI for me here. Is that just, was it, Palm Clementeeth in that scene? It's just an overload. It's just looking. Uh, like uh, I don't know if it's an overload of CGI. These are practical like effects an, oh, and characters. No, it not practical all of them are effects. though. It's looking like Men in Black sometimes. Show some Men in Black. Oh, very much. Yeah, I love Men in Black. Thank goodness JJ's back. Your Trust in JJ. One? I wouldn't say it's my favorite one, but I didn't. Trust to it. Mark Hamill who voices this little guy. Yep. He had problems with Ryan Johnson with this character, too. He's like, I don't like the direction you're taking. (laughs) (laughs) And then we get some frustrating... Everything here is frustrating, in my opinion. Yeah, it's like Cthulhu. Cthulhu? They're putting a giant donut on their head. Can you see that? Look at that. The donut head on the right. The dug nut. She's looking like Maleficent. She's retired. (laughs) Hiding out. discount (laughs) Maleficent. Walgreens Maleficent. Mm. Fathers. That's my father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. It's like <laughs> Vegas. Look closer. Yeah, but not everyone is bad at Vegas. Yeah, that's that's true. what they insinuate here, that everybody on this planet is a piece of shit, and that's not the everyone's case. bad. The kids aren't bad. That's what Rose insinuates, though. Like, not the kids. You're right. But, like, everybody else. Like they Of course, they're going to show all the cuts to the bad people. But, like I said, she gets on some big tirade about how you got to fight for love. But then this whole chunk of the film is, oh, like, her, like, oh, we got to take it to this place. And what is, like, releasing a few horses really going to do? They're just going to capture those horses. and a message. <laughs> oh, yeah. These, like, these people care. Look at this old guy. He don't care about no message. <laughs> That's an old guy. <laughs> it's sure. just like, ah. Uh, Rose. But I like it, too, because it does show that. Yeah, they're selling weapons to the First Order and stuff, but the Resistance, I mean, what's the difference? They're buying the same weapons from the same sellers or the same vendors too, right? Like, um, what's his name? Uh, BJ? Yeah, like he or says, DJ? Like, it's, all, BJ. it's all business or whatever. Oh, it's Justin Thoreau, baby. 
Is that a shout out scene to um, Harrison Ford and Indiana Jones? Uh, maybe. You have the white the tux and everything. Casino yeah. With the red plume. That's your Joseph Gordon Levitt right there. That alien. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, which one? The alien that was just like, there they are. Oh, Ooh, much yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I think we went over that on the review. Uh, Tom Hardy was in this movie, but they cut his scene. And then William and uh, Prince Harry are in this as stormtroopers. There's somebody else. There's another famous one I'm forgetting, but. I know DC was in uh, the first one, or Force Awakens. Mm-hmm. DC? The entire, Dan- every Daniel DC Craig. character known to man, yeah. Is what did you say? DC? Danielle Craigeth. I don't think so. Was We're going through me for this. That's, 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 that's his yeah. nickname he for his this friends. One? I don't think so. No. He's not a JJ I guy. DC. He's a, says, hey, or KP. he's not a Ryan guy, I should say. He's a JJ Disconnect? guy. <laughs> do you know Do you know when they first worked together, Taylor? Simon Pegg and JJ? Yeah. When they first worked together. Mm-hmm. Was it what Star movie? Trek? Mm, no. They actually worked at the same McDonald's. I don't know then. <laughs> Mission Impossible Three. He oh, brought him as a Benji. Three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Benji. And good hire because he's still he's still in that franchise. He's great in this franchise. Oh yeah. Fallout was one of my favorite Hello. movies of the year. I am very excited for the rest of those movies. There's not enough purple lightsabers in the Star Wars. I 100 percent agree. That's what I rock in Fallen Order. Yeah, me too. So good. There's like three purples. That's how much they know they're good. I rock the indigo, which is like close to pink. So that's yeah. why I was rocking that. But green is. Uh, that's my color. Like I used I green pink. until I could get purple. That's I exactly agree. what I did yeah. too. <laughs> Fuck blue, you know. It's just so Fuck blue. we've been there before. Blue's the best color there is. Is it? Is that your favorite? Well, even the cyan one you can get is pretty cool. So. I wouldn't say it's yeah. my favorite Love lightsaber. <laughs> that's that's kind of cool. I like that. What's your favorite lightsaber then? Probably the black one that never gets seen, except for like Clone Wars. Wait, is that a real thing? What's it called? Is the it like the negative? Saber. Yeah, the, the dark, dark saber. saber. Yeah, the Mandalorian Mr. lightsaber Negan? made by Mandalorian. I'm not Jedi. a fan of it. You it just don't like the art style though in the yeah, show. Yeah, though. I think in real life it'd look better. Is like, it? Does it look like a like a knife in the? Yeah, sh- yeah. But in the animation too, the way they do it, it lo- it doesn't fit. So I think in live action, but it is no. There is also Black Saber and Force Unleashed yeah. as well. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's a good. That's one. that's where I saw it the first yeah. time. Hubris. What's hubris? What's hubris? hubris? Taylor? He says it again here though. Watch. That's Ben Kenobi he's throwing shade at. So. Benjamin Kenobi. <laughs> Which Ray's right. A Jedi did save him, so, you know. Just, gonna Just like uh, Taro or whatever. <laughs> Toro. Toro. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Here we go. Legend. And I, w- I would go. mighty oh. scout in my hubris. What does he mean by "and in my hubris"? He was so arrogant. He just thought he could easily train. Mm. Like he went into training Ben Soul, like not really worried about like, oh, I'm Luke Skywalker. I can train him. There's no worry. But then, as he talks about, it, as he goes along, he saw that there was more Vader. That's one of my favorite lines. In Force Awakens that uh, Han Solo was like, uh, there's too much Vader in him. But it was Luke's job to take that out of him. But as we see in these flashbacks, he kind of gave up. He wasn't gonna kill him, but still, he screwed up by like. Attempting to assassinate his nephew at one point. His hubris, and that's why I love that. I, I, that's probably the same thing with the Ray and Kylo stuff. I love the origin of Kylo Ren because that makes it sense why he would be the way he is. So if you woke up to your trainer slash uncle standing over you with the lights are ready to kill you, yeah, you'd be like, "Fuck these people! I'm not gonna be a Jedi anymore." Yeah, like, fuck Luke. Yeah, like shout outs. I think, to, I think <laughs> I'm look at his sure. version of the story. <laughs> Luke's such a liar. Shout outs to He's Tyler Briggs who sleep. pointed out that every one of these different uh, flashbacks, Luke has a different expression on his face. Mm-hmm. I think that was a very good catch. Also there to the Tyler lobbed Briggs, laser too. shots in space too. Who? Who? The what? Tyler Briggs had a problem with the lobbed yeah. laser oh, yeah, shots he hated too. Those, yeah. Same thing. I hand waved those. But yeah, it's a, I I do wish we got a bit more of these flashbacks because I wanted to see what went down, but well, it might be stupid comic books. They so didn't want to spoil Baby Yoda at this point. They're saving him for men. <laughs> yeah, that's my theory. If you check out Mandalorian, <laughs> Ben Solo murders Baby Yoda. Kills Baby Yoda. They're going to reenact. I'm saying episode nine is going to reenact. But sir, there's too many of them. And <laughs> just Ben Solo taking him out. He like gets an grandpa. Admiral Akbar death, too. It's like you don't even see him. <laughs> yeah. Mando runs in. Ben Solo just cuts him down. Taro comes back. Best scar. Ray is amazing. Mm-hmm. She's just great. I'm Force very interested class. to see what her uh, career is going to be like after these franchises. Because I know Adam Driver is going to be fine, Oscar Isaac, but uh, her and Boyega, I don't know. Because they've not had success otherwhere. It's like Murder uh, Express wasn't the greatest, Pacific Rim 2 wasn't the greatest. So they've, I don't know. It's And like that movie she's doing, Tom Hollis and Mads Mikkelsen got delayed a whole year. <laughs> so they're having production hell Yikes. problems. So I don't Mr. know. Mr. Tire, and on a high note. Yeah, true. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's like 22. It's like I- until Star years. Wars Episode 10 comes out, then come back. Then come back, yeah. 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 As an old, an she old probably way. made a few thousand from these movies. Just a, a few thousand. Yeah. <laughs> how, do you ma- how much do you think they paid her for Force Awakens? At least six figures. And it depends contract. I don't think they allow it, but if you look at someone like uh, Todd Phillips directed Joker, he took points on the back end. So it's like what the movie made instead of getting paid up front. And they're like, oh, I won't be that big. Made a billion dollars. So he's laughing. I think he made some like 40 million off that movie initially. So I think yeah. it's all in contracts, but I don't think they do back end anymore because Lucas did the same thing. Lucas, everyone forgets Star Wars. The first one was technically an independent film. He fund that he got people and they didn't pay him, but he said he won the rights, which he was smart, to all the toys and marketing. And I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. Even Al Guinness, who played Ben or Solo or Ben Kenobi, the whole time during that movie's coming out, he's like, oh, this is going to bomb. Like, no one's going to see Star Wars. So I think nowadays they wouldn't let you say, oh, I'm going to take points on the back end of Star Wars. Like, well, you know it's going to make money. Yeah. So I think they, uh, but I think at least six figures, high, s- mid, like 500,000 or over, so, probably. Yeah. yeah. That's and cool. probably more for each sequel, obviously. Yeah, she Definitely for more. more for the sequels, yeah. Yeah. I'm just kind of wondering, she kind of came off the streets pretty much. Yeah. And I would say Ford, Hamill, uh, Fisher all got seven Oh, figures. yeah. Easily. I, I think uh, Ford maybe got eight, in my opinion. And they could have gave him 10 million because I think he's the highest price guy yeah. you want. Yeah, and I think he's, in my opinion, I love Kylo and I love Ray, but I love Harrison Ford's uh, performance in The Force Awakens. He really brings oh it. Yeah. So. Oh, and this is annoying, as they've been told. There's only one guy on this planet that can break into the ship and knew what you need to do, and it's Justin Thoreau, and they just meet this guy it's randomly Snokes. locked up. Boudoir. I like him as a character. I like how he... <laughs> I like how he acts, but I hate the... Uh, as If you've listened to any of the podcasts, my biggest complaint in... Like for any movie or two shows, coincidence. I hate coincidences. It's just lazy. It's easy <laughs> to do, and this this is very coincidental. <laughs> Get you right into Snoke's boudoir. And I'm still fucking <laughs> waiting for the MCU for him and Jeff Goldman to meet online the, or me <laughs> in the movie. They're brothers. Like I don't get why it hasn't happened yet. So who? Grandmaster <laughs> and the Collector. I really want mm. it to happen. We haven't got it yet. Brother brothers. Yeah, it has to happen. Someday. That's a Disney Plus show right there. <laughs> really? <laughs> 12 episodes. Yeah. Yeah. All directed by Look Taika. Flex. Easy money. What terrible security system. And what was he waiting for? Them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in jail and you can get out of jail whenever you want, why not just chill a little bit? Yeah. Um. What? Uh, I don't know. Potential attacks. Who's attacking you in jail? Big men. Big men. Large men. Yeah. With large pipes, I see them. Yeah, as man. I see them as potential allies. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oof, that's not good. I don't like that though. <laughs> Money, it can hurt. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm not denying if I stupid. When you I don't have it. Money. I just, it's very cheesy, very prequel ish of just this droid shoots. Yeah, it coin. sounds like a tagline you put on a poster. Money, it, it can hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And just the fact that the guy doesn't even shoot all. He's just like, oh, oh, coins. Like, step out of the way. Try to, sh- like, try anything, you know? Why don't people ever cover their tracks? Like, they could have easily put that over I and agree. no one would track I them. I agree. <laughs> They'd be in the home stretch. Yeah. They'd still be doing circles. <laughs> you almost fell in that poop there. Yeah, the do you feel like you poop. needed to fall over because of that reaction? I don't know. Oh, what do you no. think you would have done? Just not even flinched? Um, I would have stuck the landing easily. I was doing a little backflip. <laughs> a little just a wee little backflip. I still am backflipping randomly. I saw the horse. I'm, re- I'm really good at backflips. Yeah. Ooh, got some whip marks on there. Who does And I, I get what they're going ah. for here. One, I think the CG is actually not the greatest on these creatures, but I get what they're going for. I'm a big animal lover, but I think... Uh, like it's you just love big animals? Yo, all Or are you animals. just a large lover? Large animals. lover of animals. I, I just think animals. it's very heavy-handed, the themes they're going for in this, this little 15-minute mark. Good thing they know what that is, eh? Yeah, that was her only bet. <laughs> this fucking ring. What if he's like, I'm with the Empire? <laughs> <laughs> he shows his. <laughs> pulls out a First Order ring. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think of these guys' costumes? I love the samurai like look. Em. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say Dylan doesn't. Uh, I would agree with if that. If I could be a cop and have a cape, I'd be living it. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> I'd be true. living it. Yeah, I'm still that's going not with wrong. a shoulder cape, though. Shoulder I don't cape. want this cape. Go, go, go! Woo! This is pod racing. 
<laughs> now this definitely. is racing. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at the CG here. It's not great. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not, not the best. 100%. It's, not awful, it's a little though, bit of episode real. five Mandalorian. Yeah. It's a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These hovercraft yeah. do not seem good. <laughs> oh, no, it does. You got to be really skilled. They're completely the exposed. You can just pop them. I like them. this garden. Mm-hmm. It seems like a weird place to have a garden, but we take those. Wish I could just ram my whole fist through this place. But she's oh, the piano. For love. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that line. Oh god. Oh, look at those balls. <laughs> That's a GB Luke's big right there. All night long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this so speaking of Luke, yeah. Back. Speaking of. <laughs> There's the T that uh, Baby Yoda. This was is drinking. a reference mm. to Jurassic Park. Yep. Yeah. Laura Dern. Laura Dern said she would not do the movie unless they put that. In yeah. There. I'm like, well, we gotta do it. Yeah, that was in the contract. Yeah. yeah. We're paying her eight figures <laughs> along with Harrison Ford. Yeah, how much money do you think she got for this Six movie? Six figures. Think so? Yeah. Now, Rose, I'd say high five figures. Really? Maybe. No, I'll say low six figures. I'd say definitely 100,000. I think they just sent her, like, a, you know, a, a, thank s- you a subway script. coupon <laughs> card or something. <laughs> well, yeah, with a some Quiznos. Tidbits. At least Quiznos. They're like, you want to be in Star Wars, aren't you? She's like, yeah. Of course I do. I would do it for that. Kind of look like hyenas. They really yeah. put a lot of faith that they could get back to their ship unknowingly oh on the yeah. beach. This is such a bad... Pl- everything's a bad plan. <laughs> Come on! What do you expect? <laughs> Mamma mia, this should blow up. Mario! Mario? <laughs> <laughs> Universal, get that fucking Mario movie out already, you know? Let's go. It's a good Snap thing that it. uh, Rose is an expert hyena driver. You're not wrong. What does that even mean? Let the herd go stick with the pups. Like... Because <laughs> they just lost everyone. Yeah, like I was going to ask you anyone. the same thing. <laughs> cliff? Good Your thing I knew what took a little tumble means. off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Two Towers. A much better <laughs> sequel to a first one. <laughs> Where Great. is it, you scum? Your friend took a little tumble off the Tune cliff. Tune in 2021. We'll be doing commentary <laughs> tracks for those. Just cackles. Oh, yeah. Make them hurt. I feel good. They're ready just to throw in the towel and let all their friends die in the rebellion. A hundred percent. It's love. okay. We made that town hurt. Yeah, like what if, if they die? Yeah, it's just so. An- I don't get what he was. I get what he was going for, but I just don't get the execution, especially because if it wasn't, this is the thing, and not take shots because take Taylor, shots. Taylor, Taylor take loves shots. Colin uh, Trevorrow. I'd understand if it was the director of Jurassic World made this movie. This guy that's on Looper, he's done Brick, and I haven't seen Knives Out yet, but all I hear is great things about it. So I'm always surprised when I watch this movie to see where was that director. I think we see it sometimes, but other times I go, I don't know what happened. Yeah. It's true. Neither the left. <laughs> you should be him for Halloween, Taylor. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to what's this place called again? Octo. 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 I like Achato, I think. I like don't like Very Star Warsy. Achato. Octo. Octo. Luke, Luke about to turn to a werewolf here. What's up, Gwen? Oh, what's up, man? Use your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to make sure you weren't using it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's Snoke. Snope. Oh, she's putting it down. Snope. Doesn't want to join. Oh no. I want to get a little a little headband thing like that from sleeping. Do you? Because it probably covers your ears, so you can't hear much, right? It covers a chips? lot. Whoa. Lucas. George. George. Yeah. <laughs> George. <laughs> I'm here. Um. I wish it was pod racing instead of those monsters, you know. <laughs> oh, if it was pod racing. Oh, be here high. we go. I do like that scene with a uh, little Kylo with his shirt off. I like that one. Swole. Swole Kylo Ben. Swole. Look at him. Swole Swole Look at those movies. That's daddy mode. He's a little sweaty, right too. Oh, yeah. He was working out. Well, he's more than sweaty. <laughs> he was working those pipes. He was working those pipes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like he has the opposite effect like of, he doesn't uh, have of like Luke. His head seems a little bit smaller. Pack. It's just like the... the well, he's got a he's just head. one big ab. It's one big ab. <laughs> Look how big that scar is. Oh, though. Yeah. It's a large scar. She messed him up. 
No, he was sweating. He's got like a waist trainer on. Yeah, he was just fiercely masturbating. I hate my father. That's what I said. He was <laughs> working those pipes. Mm. Yeah, shake. you're so cl- everything's so dirty here. He probably had a couple shake weights going on. So he even insinuated what he tells her later on, which is funny. Like they threw away like our. They, they d- <laughs> I'm glad I stuck to my guns that. This wasn't them just literally writing off how her like heritage is that there's more to it. Well, I think it was until JJ came back. I do think she was going to be nobody. You and think so? J- yeah, I do. I think that's what Ryan Johnson intended because mm. at the end of the movie, when the little kid gets the lightsaber, it's like anyone can be a Jedi. Where JJ's like, Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. It's great. Just such a good way. Yeah, I still don't like that title, Rise of Skywalker. Ooh, that green saber. <laughs> yeah. Look at that face. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. See, is that not like? Just weird overacting cheese to when you. you're mad at the script. But I think this is a yeah. uh, this is a dream sequence. <laughs> so for the script. <laughs> doesn't <laughs> yeah. When he does his first days on yeah, set. He, that was that was him looking down at the script, Fire. trying to destroy it with the lights. <laughs> I love that he just gets in there and just like looks deep in the soul. Boom, kill it. If you have to, only if you have to though. Kill it. Do it. They give Driver the best lines in this movie. Like I said in the initial review, this to me is the showcase. Every movie showcases like an actor or a character. Last Jedi to me is it's the Adam Driver show. It's yeah. him getting to be the best actor. He gets the best dialogue. He's the most interesting character. Say he's really driving the movie forward. Yeah, he is. Hey, yeah. Well, let's go. You know his parents make that joke all the time, and he's just sitting there. Like, what the fuck are you doing, Mom? Yeah. What are you doing, man? Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> just going to the Down hole. Down the hairy hole. The gape. A lot of worms coming out of there. Oof. I think it's seaweed. Oh, it's a bit. Same difference. Check yeah. out, there's a great episode of Goosebones called uh, We Got Worms or You Got Worms or something like that. Someone's Got Worms. Yep. Oh, she Our just fell worms. right in. Yeah. Those skulls. Is this Jurassic Park? <laughs> oh, yeah. Cinematic Universe. In the contract, Laura Dern. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's be plenty of Jurassic Park <laughs> Easter eggs. Why yeah. is there all these dinosaurs in my movie? <laughs> but none well, of the Lord scenes. When none of the scenes with her, though. <laughs> oh no, she <laughs> didn't want to be obvious about it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw. There's like a uh, there's like ComCon or some shit where a bunch of like Ray cosplayers all like mm-hmm. recreated the yeah. scene. Yeah, thought it was pretty awesome. Thought it was alright. I think it's a fun I'm idea. Joking. If you're a bunch of nerds at ComCon. Why it wouldn't you do it? It's a great <laughs> nerds. idea. Nerds. So, do you think that this is just setting up now, obviously, the possibility of her being a clone in Rise of Skywalker? Yeah, obviously, that's what everyone talks about now in retrospect, right? Is that how many there are? Um, Only that many. (laughs) No more, no less. Well, and because we got the Dark Ray thing. The Dark Ray thing is the thing that throws the... uh, the monkey wrench and all this. I've said this on Cantinas before that I think Skywalker is going to be very satisfying or it has a chance to be very disappointing. If Ian is not the Emperor, people are going to be mad. If Dark Ray is just a vision, if Dark Ray is a vision, I don't get why you use show that in marketing at all, you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, we'll return this conversation in a second because the best scene in the movie is about to come up. Even Mark Hamill said this is what he considers what Star Wars sex scene is going to be the closest he'll ever get. And I love that she's talking. She's co- uh, like conversating. And the first time I saw it, I thought they were phrasing it that she was talking to Luke. And she's all distressed. But then when they do that cut and it's Kylo actually listening to her, it's so great. Because it shows that clearly he bumps into her when she's disturbed and shaking. She doesn't even care that it's Kylo anymore. She just needs somebody to connect with. And I love the editing of these scenes. Yeah, I like this scene a lot. It's so good. So that's is that Palpatine? It could be. Look at that there. cloak right there. Wish me. Good. With Shmi. Oh, poor Shmi. Tough life. It's Hux. I remember the first time it's I thought, Hux. yeah, I think the first time I saw this, I thought it was going to be Kylo. And I was like. Is that Obi-Wan? Like the hair there, I thought it was Kylo. So I was like, oh, is that his her dad? How does that even work logistically? And I was like, oh, are they brother and sister? Which I don't want because we want them to get it on. Hashtag Raylo. Hashtag Force Babies, right, Taylor? I'm but still holding out. I'm still saying they're, if they can hide Baby Yoda, they can hide Ray and Kylo's fucking daughter very easily. Immaculate conception, baby. Well, that was a rumored plot at one point that these force calls, they, they're they forced together, combined something, and made her pregnant. That mm-hmm. was a rumored plot at one point, and I was so down for that. Look, such a smart way. <laughs> Luke being the the dad busting yeah. in the room. Walking what are you doing, my dog? Why is that door closed? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said five minutes, <laughs> and you get back down here. And yeah, both of them. 
especially Adam Driver, but both of them, great just facial acting here, eye acting, the whole Tom Hardy, uh, the Tom Hardy kit of acting going on right now. This is how Padme and Anakin consummated. <laughs> yeah. Consummated. Always it's taking so off that glove. But the way they shoot it, it is very central. It's very, it's so good. And, yeah, great job by Ryan Johnson here in the team. Skin to skin. No protection. No gloves. No. And, yeah, when no they glove, touch no and the glove. music changes, you can no just glove. feel it. I hate <laughs> There's actually no track for this scene in this. It's There's annoying. a lot yeah. of that, and it bothers me. With, with what? Sorry. So pregnant. many of the tracks used in this movie are not Ooh. in the, s- the soundtrack. Ooh. It's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Like, because the problem is, it's like it's just like a sex. remix of the old one. But like, I still want it. But I, I know. Look at yeah. that! Oh, they're feeling each other. He's creaming. I would have been so down though if that was a creation of a baby right there, and they didn't even know it. Be great. Look at that! Oh, that's such an image though of him seeing like. Oh, it's so good. It's the worst when your dad walks in on you. Yeah. There's and so just much breaks the, the whole room. Off the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luke's completely hit the eject button on this training. <laughs> just turns to a vampire. You're not my little girl anymore. Kicks oh. you out of the house. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the dialogue. Uh, that whole thing when she's like, "Did you murder him? Did you create? Cal- did you murder him?" It's very. I did not murder. Him. Very dramatic. So that's I robot. Oh yeah, great film. Look at him. He's still Luke Skywalker. One hand's all you need. He's still lifting up a giant fishing pole. <laughs> I don't. I don't agree with that one, but this I agree because he's finally back with the Force. She just full on cheats. She just throws the stick away and just goes for a weapon that could kill him. I do what you gotta do. Yeah. Yes, I did it. <laughs> 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 it was me all along. <laughs> but this is, I Just love the voice. recontextualizing <laughs> of the scene because he, this is ex- again with the Vader comparisons. It's exactly like Vader in Return of the Jedi where he had a chance to strike down Vader and he didn't. But Vader, very different character than Kylo, doesn't go. Exactly. He and doesn't plus, g- it's different context because yeah. he had nothing to lose when he was f- turning Vader and fighting Vader. Here, he's got everything to lose, yeah. and he's afraid of that. But I love the flat, like the parallels of like he's going to strike down Vader, and he doesn't. This one, he goes straight down Vader, but Kylo sees him, who's somebody not on the dark side yet. Yeah. Because you can make the argument that if Kylo doesn't see this, there's still a chance he doesn't turn bad. And unfortunately right, so <laughs> this just parallels exactly oh. when he was looking at vader 100 percent. yeah it's like so it's well perfect. done yeah so he said that snoke had already turned him when did i guess we don't know i think they had already like met some four snoke. skype calls oh, of okay. just like they were touching hands when luke was with no watching. shirts on because i think that's thing they try to talk about in this movie is with the dark side they did a little bit in prequels but i think the jedi just go ignore it don't even look at it like yeah. don't acknowledge it and i think that's probably the thing that ben was going through is like He's having some dark side stuff. He can't really talk about it with Luke because they frown on that, and he's kind of talked about that. So if you have Snoke who can talk to – it's the same way with Rey, right? She can talk to Kylo about dark side stuff because he's willing to. Yeah, but she met Kylo. When did, when did he meet Snoke? Oh, and that's why I'm saying I wish we got a little bit more. Yeah. Maybe we it's kind of like where like, your parents are very religious and you are – you know, maybe you're homosexual or something like that. You can't really talk to your parents about it, but yeah. you can talk to someone – you know. But maybe the Snoke, how he met him, is Snoke just doing like the kind of four Skype calls of like getting in his mind, being like, I could help you, this mm-hmm. and that. But I bet from comics we're going to learn that they fought at one point. Like, who's that? That's Master Snoke. Because there's a comic. Well, we know out. they went to Dagobah, which yeah, is cool. Well, that was after. Technically, after he recruits him. Yeah, yeah, technically in canon, Kylo Ren destroyed Yoda's home and his whole like hut and everything. They went back. And, and that cave that Luke goes into, Kylo Ren pulled it down by himself. So. Uh, but there's a comic coming on February. The cover is Luke and a young Ben Solo fighting the Knights of Ren. So stuff that I'm fine. I'm happy to get, but I'm very disappointed it's not in movies. I hate that type of canon stuff. I'm very disappointed they do that because I feel like that would be something I'd want to see, even if you go hire a young actor to pay Ben Solo in a Disney yeah. Plus series. <gasps> this scene, Holy again, shit. it had me brought to tears so fast. It's just so amazing. It's nearly perfect. I would say just Yoda is just always so Yoda. They use a puppet for him, so that was nice. Yeah, I love puppets. <laughs> <laughs> a great meme came from the scene too. The yeah. sacred text. The sacred yeah. text. <laughs> January twenty eighteen. Yoda's just like stoned out of his mind. Oh yeah. yeah. Yoda's just chill, you know. He He's been ripping on catnip all night. Oh, he just enjoys <laughs> watching these things. So this is the part coming up that I am not a fan of all. I am a fan of introducing new force powers for living people. 
I am not a fan of. We've gone through three trilogies. Those fingers. And you are now like saying pickles. that Force Ghost can summon lightning down, even though they've said, I cannot help you in a but battle. But remember, it's not lightning like how Palpatine is using it. It's but basically he's yeah. just mana like changing like and creating a storm up above. It's just shooting down. No, I know, but why couldn't they why couldn't he appear when let's say Luke is fighting Vader and Return Jedi? Why can't Ben and them appear and help them out? I don't like introducing Because they Force learned Ghost can- that they can't that's that's not for them to do. They gotta let the force go along on its own. And let the natural order. But of things why? Do when they things. did that, they lost in the prequels. When they're like, "Oh, the bounce, it'll figure itself." Didn't someone out. say that Yoda's the strongest Jedi, though. Yeah, but he's the stupidest. It's, it's just something. Well, I'm that just they saying, wasn't that? Wouldn't that explain like how he can do that? Maybe, but then I just. Why didn't he help out then? But it's it's not about it's not his place. him. Yeah, it's not his yeah. place. It's about letting these new characters like realize where they have to go. And look at him. He's <laughs> trying to rectify Luke and make Luke understand that there's a bigger thing at hand here. Even then, him saying like. Um, there's nothing that the girl Ray has that, sh- or whatever, like possessed. She's basically implying that she's got the books already, you know. Yeah, I know. No, I know. I'm just, I'm not a fan of it. I think it opens up a lot of problems I think with the force. I think if he just totally whipped out force lighting out of his hands, or if he was force pushing or doing crazy powers like that, that are equivalent to actual what Jedi can do when they're alive, I think that's a little weird. But him just manipulating, creating a basic storm. I think it's fine. It's not like a basic anything. storm. Just a one quick lightning bolt. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Mm, not a fan of it for me. I don't like that at all. I think this is my second Zero favorite percent. scene in the entire film. Well, hon, what? The throne room battle. Throne room. Yeah. I love your theme coming I just in. Here. What about the Thrawn room battle? The Thrawn room? Yeah. Thrawn? Thrawn's in this movie? Is yeah. that in the Blu ray? Confirmed? Have you Spe- not seen special it? Special no. Post credits, baby. Oh. It's in there. It's just. Oh, I love Yoda. Full circle from when Luke and Luke and uh, Yoda were. Wh- what mm. planet was it? Was it Dagobah? The swamps of Dagobah. Yeah. It's just so great. Shout out to the swamps of Dagobah. Perfectly safe for droids. I'm just so happy how they did Yoda too in this film. Look at those fingers. Those are pickles. The pickles? The his pickle fingers? Yeah, look at those. <laughs> the little toothpick Take at the end. Take a little nibble off that. <laughs> Get a nice little snack. Other than that, I love the scene. Great scene, great yeah. dialogue. Written well. Frank Maybe Glass does a good job. What if it wasn't even Yoda? What if it was just like a natural lightning strike? How mad it was raining. Yeah. How I mad do you think the caretakers <laughs> were that their whole life is all about saving this stuff? <laughs> and fucking Ray comes in. Yoda yeah, just comes Jedi and blasts that shit with and blasts it. You can't really do much with that. That chair turn. Do you think yeah. we'll see Yoda I in Skywalker? It. Yes. It's possible. I'm okay with not. No. I think that's the best. The best, uh, like, bring back and send off for Yoda in this trilogy. I don't need him anymore. Yeah, I, I think that was perfect. I think I'm going to have to Yoda, take back what I said. Keep Yoda, the species to the Mandalorian. Look I at think. his rings. Holy shit. I think Seven we're going to hear Souls. Yoda, but not see him. I'd be down to hear him. I think Ray at some point is going to hear a bunch of voices, and I think the reason is because th- that's the other reason why I don't like Force Ghosts in general is – <laughs> so you bring back – you can't bring back Obi-Wan as a ghost because Al Guinness is dead. So it's the problem of how do you do that. And even Hayden Christensen, if you bring him back, it's like he's <laughs> aged. Like it makes no sense. So that's why I think they'll go the voice route. They have de the characters. They And they do. And that's the thing. We're in a different yeah. era. They could. but And I guess do – you and McGregor, do they up-age them? They they make him old guy? Make you know? old. Yeah. And I think we'll hear forces. I think at one moment – the only Force Ghost thing I really want and I, I always Qui-Gon? worry we're not going to get, no, is Force Ghost Luke, but talking Give to... Give me the fucking quiet on <laughs> Not after last year. Flag on and Shmi <laughs> just going at it. Uh, <laughs> Ray just opens her eyes and like, sorry. Uh, but no, I want Force Ghost Luke uh, appearing to Ben Solo. I really do. And yeah. If they don't do that, I'm going to be quite disappointed because I just See think that's... Around, kid. That's so good, especially if he does the same thing. If Luke, if Kylo's just in battle, he's taking off some innocent people, and he just looks over there, and he just sees Luke just staring him down, saying nothing. That would mess with him the entire movie, and that I think that would make him turn. Like I said, there's going to be a moment in Skywalker where he goes, "I'm Ben Solo." He's going to say those words verbatim. And he did. Oh, machine powder. That's something. Then, 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 no doing. <sighs> Get it? That's why his name's DJ. <laughs> Don't join. Yeah. Yikes. That's actually a clever name. <laughs> that is actually that. a big yikes. That's, That's a, a hard clever yikes. name. That's super clever. Wow. Is it that clever? 
I think it's clever if the character doesn't say don't join. If you just leave it and then it's kind of like, oh, well, I wonder if that's why it's DJ. And Ryan Johnson goes, oh, maybe it is. That's clever. Oh, maybe it is. But that's is what that Ryan Johnson does on this My movie. name's Don't Join DJ for short. Does he actually say that? Well, no, that's even worse. But, like, that's <laughs> why it's. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you know it's Fly for sure don't boy. join? The same way you said she is the force. Ryan Johnson says that, right? Oh, so it's true then. <laughs> what? From that's, a, that's about from as a true, true point as of view. <laughs> Just tell them that you guys have a fucking plan and everything will be okay. But no. We got this rigmarole going on. Rigmarole. There's a scene coming up when she shoots off her gun. She makes the pew sound with her mouth. You can actually see her do it. Yikes. Uh, That's a big yikes. (laughs) The same thing happened uh, in the, I think, I don't know of all prequels, but Phantom Menace for all the lightsaber duels. Ewan McGregor kept making lightsaber sounds. (laughs) They told him to stop. But they still had some out because they would catch them. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. I love it. Very excited for Obi Wan. Even though I'm a little disappointed with uh, Mandalorian at some points, uh, Dave Filoni has nothing to do with Obi Wan. Dude, so Obi Wan's kind of a crazy guy. I'm like, interested as well. Yeah. Because I, you know, rewatching the prequels as a man, Obi Wan's big reason why Anakin turned into what he did. I think Obi Wan's. Uh, well, Obi Wan didn't want him, right? He got left him. He wasn't supposed to train. Oh, that I kid, just right? think the way he treats him is just awful. Yeah, but Anakin, times. you know, he's an awful guy. Oh, I mean, I'm not going to dis- He destroyed the, the women and the children, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this scene was very subtle, because I had always wondered how DJ actually learned of their escape. God, the does his name have to be DJ? Can we Don't not join. Don't else? <laughs> Don't join, man. Shout-outs to Kirkland for noticing that she hid the books there. I never noticed that during our review. Yep. You're welcome. Um, shout out to Taylor for remembering that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember all these I, things. I forgot. Did so you watch like You don't remember recently? all these things, Taylor. You don't remember, remember half the stuff things. you say to me. Well, it's Star. this is Star Wars. This is Star Wars. Uh, this is about this Star is Wars pod stuff. racing. Oh. This is not pod racing anymore. I love pod, pod racing. racing. When's that going? Pod We're racing is responsible for me currently holding the Geek Versus Gauntlet Millennium champion Falcon belt. <laughs> that we've never seen before. That was the jankiest game I think I've seen on the gauntlet. Yeah, well, I still destroyed her in it. I never said you didn't. Um, that double legal chip in though, ooh. Yes, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Probably She's lucky that that went right to a hangar. It could have smashed into the hull. Deck the halls. What if a Tie Fighter decided just like, oh, incoming missile, just fucking pop it? Wouldn't have been great. What a great welcome party. Man, I'm so stoked for the Skywalker Lego uh, saga, whatever the fuck that game's called game. And I love the this game's part collection. where she's on the ship because <laughs> she thinks Ben Solo is not real right here. Because you can see, she's like, oh, okay, where I'm having another vision. But then, she's like, Lol, boom, the reveal, face. like, nope, <laughs> this is not a vision anymore. You're at the wrong spot, so. Oh, look at those cuffs. Those are some big cuffs. And that's why I think it's lucky she didn't end up going in some hole. I think they tracked her in because... Ben Senster coming. Holy Look at those shit. fingers. They call him DJ for a reason. Yeah, that guy's a professional CS what? player. What does you that even that? mean? Double okay, joint. Okay. Double joint. He's double jointed. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see this? this, this? <laughs> <laughs> He's in the background. He's doing Street Fighter all that shit. That's pretty suspicious. Sus- nah, sus- it's sus- not this guy. <laughs> Gee, I wonder how they're going to sneak around the ship. I bet. A stormtrooper and a who now are doing a who done it. Whoa. That's how he pitched knives out. <laughs> He's like, let's make a Star Wars who done it. They're like, no, but you can make the who done it part. <laughs> and we'll give you DC. Yeah, those scenes where you see Luke like slashing down Ben Solo, that's a very who done it kind of thing, you know? <laughs> Look at all these other people who also decided to mutiny. All Everyone in the background's not paying attention. No, not all. There's a life and death situation, and nobody. Yeah. That one guy. Is <laughs> <laughs> he's like, wait a minute. They took <laughs> over this whole ship by holding up these like four specific people. Like, yeah, it's, this is holy ah. shit. It's a giant. Iron. I was gonna say that's an iron. <laughs> Kyle's doing. <laughs> oh, now that shot. That's awesome. I, forgot, um, I like that. Um, <laughs> It's a little, yeah. It's like a nod. Is it space balls? Yeah, which is I'm not a fan of. One, Ryan I Johnson think space balls be. overrated, and two, um, I don't think that belongs in Star Wars. What space balls? No, that iron shot. Oh. It feels like it's supposed to be a parody movie, and like you guys, oh look, it's an iron. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, it is an iron. It's uh, like, all right, thanks, to Ryan BB9. Johnson. That's BB9. Yeah. Cool. The marketing superior. seemed like he was going to be a much bigger character. Than oh he yeah, they put out toys for him and everything. Oh, 
very easy to sneak aboard Imperial ships. Original mm-hmm. trilogy, Rogue One, this, yeah. It's happened three separate times in key situations. Oh, yeah. We have a special guest on the podcast. It's telling you a plot. An owl with a top hat. The shape of it, solid and clear. Is she talking about his pipes? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you cleaning them. I can clean them. <laughs> I can clean them for I'll you. I'll help you. <laughs> I saw it. I saw <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Everything, I'm, um, I'm just picturing it all just super sexualized now. Oh, yeah. You'll stand with me. Is she holding him? She's holding something. She's holding something. Holding She's holding something. pipes. Yeah, just... just <laughs> what, a, what a bold play. Luke, what are you going to do to turn him? She just walks up, just grabs him by the crotch, and he's like, I'm in. Let's go. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. Old Ghost Rider style. I'm in. <laughs> Drop some cubes. Room for one more. <laughs> Man, you know how disappointed I'd be if they announced Adam Driver's playing Johnny Blaze? They're like, oh, no. Oh, what a waste. Yeah. What do you mean a waste? He could do it. He could do something else. That's our wol- well. He can't be Wolverine. He's six foot. Whatever. Well, he can be. Let him faithful be Wolverine. apprentice. My faith in you is restored. I feel like it's kind of redundant. But oh, well, yeah. He's very faith. Faith filled. Welcome. He's still wearing the same robe. Oh yeah. Probably doesn't wash it very often. He no. wears gold slippers too. That's Are you pretty serious? Swag and Dude, that's yeah. so balling. They asked him why he's wearing the same Gucci robe, slides. and he said, "I've only been wearing it for three hours last night." So. Only Ayo. three. That was just a joke for us. Haitian s- smelt. Good conductor. How do you think her hair does that? Oh, best conductor. Fuck me. Fire me. Pipe oil. Pipe oil. Yeah. Best can steal. Everyone uses it. Here's your pipe oil. Get your pipe oil. Get your pipe oil. Mm-hmm. I love what he's done to his imp- his uh, res- uh his hat, his first order hat. He's got it, like backwards. It looks super cool. Super cool. Super. Man, just like a DJ, right? Just like a DJ. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like between, you know, Finn being a, a stormtrooper and then in that suit, like, someone could re-edit these movies to make him just seem like a bad guy. Mm-hmm. And stealing Poe's jacket. So we got, right now, Poe's committing a mutiny. Yo, is that C-3PO? He is. Holy yep. shit. Who is, I don't think will die in the next movie. I think they're being too obvious, but I think he's going to lose some memories. Watch her mouth. Oh, I'm watching Oh, yeah. Watch the lips. That kick. Oh, ah! she big time pewed. She big time pewed. <laughs> I didn't see it. It was too quick. It was big pew. <laughs> now we're about to have a <laughs> call. You know what I I don't think I realized because Taylor never told us how much he loves DJ. He's amazing. He's <laughs> taking me off guard. <laughs> I hate that name. <laughs> <laughs> just bothers me. Just don't me. join, man. Don't join. I get it. Don't join the hate. I get it. Do you hear that? What is his name in the credits? DJ? I think so. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll be here for the credits. So. It's like D E J A Y. I have an appointment. Chiropractor. Getting your pipes clean. Getting my pipes clean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At least uh, once a month. At least. I saw you. Twice a day. <laughs> Ooh. Like and and because of this mission, too. Oh, that head turn. They get revealed where the rebel resistance is going and everything like that. Like, Yo, they just roll this Chrome swag soldier. <laughs> what a fucking I never noticed that his, his stormtrooper name is identical to a license plate number in British Columbia, B.C. Is, is it your it license? Is it your plate? license plate? Yeah, <laughs> it's actually the same. <laughs> so Leia. Oh. oh. Dang, ma. Yep. What oh. are these ships called, Taylor? Oh, they're just the little beans. <laughs> I don't know what those are called. They're just little cruisers. No, oh. they have a name. Little like shuttles. I definitely don't know the specific uh, yeah, yeah, model. Yeah, yeah. Wow. How do you like him for being an idiot? I like him. His spunk. I like his moxie. It just makes no sense in this context. I like his hubris. <laughs> I think it should be you. <laughs> 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 Let's be honest. He almost just died. <laughs> Why couldn't yeah. they program a droid to do it or something? 100%. Uh, they should look at C-3PO easy. and be like, you know what? 
You've had a good run. <laughs> but he's essential to Rise of Skywalker, <laughs> so. No, they didn't need to be. <laughs> Hey Rose, you want to come here for a second? Just uh, oh, just hold this level. Okay, the door's going to close. Stay here for a few hours. Yeah, yeah, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at those cuffs. For my sister. <laughs> I said they're enacting this whole plan where again they could have just. They're eventually going to tell everyone. PO just takes up some human spot on that <laughs> yeah, ship. Hundred <laughs> percent. This one was walk like watching the ship go by, me like, what the? F why do we have the droids stay? <laughs> I'm close to that. There is a oh, piece of Batman. score here where they throw in Sheev's theme, and it just bothers me it wasn't in the soundtrack. It's not again. in the soundtrack. It's so annoying. I, I know. know it's not in the soundtrack as well as when he's giving his speech to Ray about, like, join me. It's not either. So I got to listen to some shitty YouTube quality version that's only 30 seconds. I know. <laughs> it's like, fuck off. I want the real one. Love me some YouTube. Oh, look at that. Check out my SoundCloud. <laughs> Direct, that's the director of Venom 2 right there. I love, M. I love Ray's costume here as well. And technically, that's Alfred Pennyworth now yeah, coming that's up. That's true. He'd forget about that. <laughs> I still think he could be Cobblepot. But She's got those rolly, he been rolly shoes. I do like that from the point on this, or from this point on, she just always keeps calling him Ben. She doesn't call him Kyle Ray yeah. anymore. I wonder if that's going to stay happening in episode 9. Yeah. I like her new hairstyle, too. It's very Qui-Gon-esque. Yeah. qui gon -esque. After her grandfather. Yeah. That's <laughs> Qui-Gon. Oh, yeah. He was great until Darth Maul gutted him, but... Right. Get him. Forgot about that. I'm Hey, that's one of the Disney Plus series I want. I want a young Qui-Gon series. It's so far back, especially Count Dooku, his master. Mm. Lots of fun stuff. That, yeah. There. There's yeah. a lot of potential. Oh, look at those fingernails. And like clean those, bro. Because when they did Liam Neeson, he was 50, so you could easily get an actor that's 20 years old, and it's not like Han Solo. We're not going to be like, this is weird. Like, he doesn't look like, like, the you could e stroke. easily get somebody, so. I really hope they do that. And uh, who's my boy? Who else is Count Dooku's apprentice, Taylor? What's his name? Rail. 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 Oh, Rail. So good. He's just Rail. Jedi. He's Louis. Just, <laughs> he's just, <laughs> yeah. He's just like the Wolverine of Jedis. He's great. He just like smokes. He fucks, and he's out about it. Oh, he, he fucks. fucks. Yeah, he's evolved the pipe cleaning all the time. So if people are listening and not sure where we actually are in the movie, uh, we just were talking about when they got the mutiny stuff. Remember we just talked okay, about okay. Yeah, I just realized we probably haven't like specified where we are. For that's a why while. you watch along, baby. Uh, I've already seen this movie. BB-8. It's controversial. It's on Disney Plus. You can watch it. No, it's not. What? It's on Disney Plus twenty six. It's on Netflix. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not because Disney Plus this month. Yeah. What are you? Are we watching on Netflix right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, unfortunately, because Disney Plus will have the. How about 4K Force Awakens? Version. Where's Force Awakens right now? That's on Plus. Every movie is on Plus except for this and Solo because they gotta wait till they run right. out. Yeah, with those pesky contracts, you know. Yes. Yeah, it's almost like if we told you this plan before, yeah. none of this would have been an issue. Hour of <laughs> this movie. He's such a great actor. Yeah, he is. He somehow sells this. Scene. Oh, we got that blue uh, swag bot in the back again. Right, the swag box. I just love that color scheme. That was my Halo 3 color scheme. Light blue and red. Respectable. And it goes lower during just... She's got the whole place herself. I would have been just nude at that point. I'd be cleaning <laughs> my pipes right now. <laughs> I'm going to go out. Yeah, that thing's really is constrictive on the neck. You like, think you I, wonder take if, it I wonder if anyone's ever cleaned their pipes on the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Leia, do you still have the vibrating <laughs> chair in your office? Okay, I'm going to use that while I die. See you. God, may the force be with you. <laughs> they, yeah, they did say Godspeed as well. So again, yeah. they have you know certain concepts. So Snoke's ship actually has a factory for building uh, star destroyers on it, I believe. That's too. a big. That's a big <laughs> ship. That's a big ass uh, ship. ship. Ooh, <laughs> that upward slap. That pim slap. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Uppercut. He does like a spin. It's not effective. Uh, how often do you think? Uh, uh, Phasma shines her suit. Here we go. She must have like a Roomba for that. Yeah. That was a toaster. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another snake. Well, yeah, well, it's a big it's snake references. Uh, Ryan Johnson loves snakes. 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 How do I know that name? So I cut a deal. I don't know any snakes. <laughs> 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 oh. Yeah, I don't think they'll be bringing him back, unfortunately. Or, unfortunately, I don't know how you feel about him, but... 
Doesn't sound like he's coming back, according to JJ. Wait, they ran a decloaking scan? What does that mean? Basically, their mini transports were cloaked because they weren't yeah. scanning for smaller ships, just the large ones. So what's the so point of a cloaking a thing if they have a decloaker? This is well, they ran a decloaker though. to scan for smaller ships, basically, because they weren't looking for little ships, so he told them yeah. to look for them. So and it is new technology they didn't exactly know about. When was it first introduced to their field? Uh, you mean tracking through hyperspace? Just the idea, no, the idea of decloaking. Oh, wasn't it Rogue One? Yeah, it was Rogue One. Yeah. It was one of the files when they're looking through, so... But that ship got destroyed, so that's why they lost all the information and couldn't do it years later, mm. but now they can do it. So, you know. Here's me defending some cannon. Cannon junkies. <laughs> so that means, like, he was reading her mind, and Kylo just sat there the whole time while, like, Ray's screaming, and Snoke's just like, oh, okay, Luke's on the side. Okay, yeah, he's doing this. Kylo's just like, what am I I'm doing? guessing Kylo's, like, kind of hungry, so he's probably got his mind preoccupied. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would hurt. Popped. That would. How much do they say those weigh? Like thirty. Shout outs to Spunk. They're supposed to be like a sword. Yeah, they're supposed to have twenty pounds. Something, yeah, like, something like that. Like that, yeah. like that is solid metal. Just Not if you watch the, the prequels, though. Anakin no, throws that shit around like nothing. <laughs> so like annoying. Nunchucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, light as a feather. Be gone. Uh, 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 uh. Lots of Return of the Jedi going on right here. The magnifying glasses and that. Got spoiled by this oh. by a TV spot. She looks so sick with that saber. Mm -hmm. What could have been? Well, I guess we are seeing her with the red lightsaber again in the next movie. She has the double bladed. But man, I do hope there's a dark gray clone. That'd be great, but I had my worries. And I personally, I know some people don't like the way the Snoke scene done. And I agree, maybe oh, Snoke says a few I things, love but it. I love it. I completely think it's fantastic. I think Snoke has that type of hubris. That it would work because he's reading different minds, and I think it's just a really fun way to do it. Plus, we've never seen this done in Star Wars with the apprentice actually taking out the master. They always talk about it, then Palpatine takes him out. Or, oh, you know. so good. Mm -hmm. This is such a good scene. I love that look, too. That lightsaber. Black and red, man. Yeah. Black and yellow. Goes together like PB and J. Mm -hmm. That's true. You order and jelly. I know what I have to do. <laughs> I saw you do. Kylo is just laughing right now in his mind. I don't think Kylo laughs at all. <laughs> I don't it's think like he's I laughed in a clean 28 fuck years. This boy up. <laughs> That's not all he's thinking about fucking either. That's not, you know. I'm just, again, I'm very disappointed that they didn't, she didn't turn to dark side, he didn't turn light side, because I think they would have had the best victory sex known to man after they have survived this whole scenario and they went back. Oh, yeah. Oh, they did. It's canon. See, I, the one thing I don't like about this is when he's just describing, like, what he's doing. He's like, he's turning the saber. They, they could have taken that a little yeah. down a little bit, yeah. a few notches, but I like this. Also, that snow thing provided a lot of oh, gifts. But so good. What if uh, Ray didn't catch that? Would it have just gone right through Kylo? <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Nah, he would have stopped it. Yeah, he, he's, oh, got that, baby. he's got that thick bod. A shout out to Kylo's costume. I just like the way it's layered. I've never said that, yeah. but it's just fantastic. This is. Oh, man. Yeah. I remember just losing my shit the first time I saw this in yeah. theaters. Great yeah, scene. Just, Your shit was insane. lost. Just, just like the abruptness of Snoke dying. Oh, it's just wow, like, Taylor's going to be that no, no, no. guy. On, on the He's first, on the first the watch, this here. scene was absolutely amazing. But just if, as a fan, if you don't want to ruin it, you know, that scene and how awesome it is, don't watch, like, analyzing videos on YouTube of it because it'll really pull you out. So See, I can watch that, but it, it doesn't, doesn't pull me sense. out anymore. There's a lot of flaws like, in there. Like, like, like the choreo, the yeah. There, there's a scene, I think, I mean, you could probably touch upon it because I'm sure you've seen those videos since you brought it up. Mm -hmm. But, like, Ray like, screws up her action and, like, one of the one of the Praetor... What's it, what are they called? Praetorian Guard. Praetorian Guard. He, like, totally, like, aims above her head and it's, like, not even going on. Yeah. Well, and the other one that's more egregious is she's fighting. A guy has two swords and the guy, like, ties her up. And then when he's all tied up, the sword that was in his hand just disappears. It's just gone. They just CGI'd it out. But it doesn't bug me because this you can... like the uh, <laughs> Kill Bill scene. Yeah. yeah. It never that stuff usually doesn't bug me too much just because like you could any movie in the world has a con. Yeah, I love it those sucks sparks. that it happens during this, but their weapons just <coughs> look so sick too. Oh, yeah. The different variations. Lightsaber lightsaber armor as well. Very cool. Yeah. But and I love just Kylo Ren's fighting style. He just reminds me of like if a scarecrow was alive, like the way he just like rigidly moves and very Jack yeah. Skellington. Yeah. 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 He's not very he's not very graceful. 
I love that. Oh no, he's not at all. I love the just the sounds of his saber too. It just sounds like it's like breaking basically. Unstable crystal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. And it's just something because like all Jedi's have their different fighting styles, but the good thing is like his doesn't look like Luke's or Vader's at all. No. It looks like I don't know what it is, but it's just like just he's anger. just pa- he's just like power, but <laughs> yeah. not force power, like physical action, yeah. like. He lifts, you know? Yeah, I feel like he's really He looks pretty bulky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he feels like he's just tired, too, right? He's <laughs> yeah, like yeah. exhausted of life. Well, he hasn't laughed in 28 years, remember? Yeah. That's, that's a tough time. Yeah, that's true. Laughter makes you live longer. Because I'm pretty sure at one live, point... Live, laugh, love. Maybe miss or whatnot, but I think he just punches a guy, I'm pretty sure. And it's just like, Jedis don't usually do that in the live action. Yeah, but when you're as swole as this man. Oh, 100%, yeah. That was a mistake. They should never let go of that lightsaber. Here comes the right thing. Watch, has a knife, and the knife's gone. All of a sudden, yeah. What's up, G? Very Arya <laughs> in the in the one of the last ben. episodes or er, true Battle of the Bastards. She's kind of Arya like. I never thought about it actually. When well, she drops the dagger. Ooh. You're seeing uh, Kylo hold his grandfather's lightsaber for the first time. It belongs to me. Yeah. Holding his grandfather's that lightsaber pipe. belongs to me. And he was with her, but then he sees that chair and yeah. it all goes to crap. Look at all the <laughs> cut in half body of yeah. Snoke. <laughs> he just sits on the body, though. Yeah. He just sit. a soggy old fruit. Yeah. He just Sorry, wears the legs. <laughs> Puts on the robe. Snoke, Luke, the, the room must just smell terrible. Jesus. Just burnt flesh. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I love burnt flesh. Like I said, right there, they could have been right in front of Lo- Snoke's dead body. This is, I still think, Adam Driver's next to marriage story. His best acting he's ever done. What's about to happen here? Yeah. Oh, they are. Oh, so good. We got the Ray parent reveal scene happening right now. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. He could could be lying. I don't think he's lying. I think it'd be (laughs) that he got lied to. Yeah. Ryan Johnson lied to him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Luke. <laughs> yeah. That's me, Adam Driver, the next movie. <laughs> what are you doing? Musical scripts. And technically, she says it first, right? Fair enough. <laughs> the best pickup line ever coming up. You're not. You're not. Come on, bring me. That's how oh. you get the girl. Oh, yeah. yeah. You just insult her You got to make her cry right. first. There's <laughs> also a thing coming up. Beat her down and bring her back up. <laughs> Take away all that she believes He holds in. up his hand. The way he just delivers, he says please in a second. Just the way he delivers that. He should take the glove off, though, in my opinion. You got to touch skins. Take the glove off. True love. Yeah, exactly. That's how babies are made. Just, oh, so good. Like, oh, he's fantastic. Phenomenal scene. One of the greatest actors in the world. And, yeah. He's one of the greatest actors. Not all in the these world. rebel transports have been fucking blown up yet. I mean, they couldn't have had that many. Plot armor, baby. And now she's finally making a decision after <laughs> watching about thirty ships get blown up. Well, she was in the chair. Yeah. Ah, uh, the vibrating yeah. chair. Yeah. Yes. Clean, clean then the there was place. too much vibration. She's like, something's off, and she looked outside. And <laughs> Classic Laura Dern move. Also coming up here because I'm gonna say because the next time we go back to Kylo and Ray, right away she goes for the lightsaber. I don't think she needed to do that. I think she, like, I feel like she jumped the gun a bit too quickly. I feel like she could have had a few conversations, like, just talk about a little bit. But she right away just, co- she just goes to murder him. Like, there's still a chance. I know there because it's Star Wars. She's like, he's bad now. He's for bad. But, like, especially in the next movie, if he does turn good, which he's going to, it's like, I feel like there could have been she could have still been like, Yeah, but what if we do it this way instead or even well, just better to talk on your terms. Don't let the other guy have the weapon. I, e- I even I think there's still a chance that she could have been like, Yeah, I'm with you, but let's not kill your mom and the other people and you might be like, Okay, I really like you, I won't do that. Like <laughs> okay. she didn't even give an a an option B out. <laughs> yeah. She just went to straight up murder. Like these stormtroopers are about to do to Finn and Rose. We were that close. I, what I thought would have been a fun touch is if they had like cut a piece of her hair to show like it really being there. But for some reason, I have a, m- a memory of that happening, but I yeah. guess it didn't. I thought that no. actually happened. I thought they cut her head off. She's running <laughs> away. <laughs> Imagine if she was running away. I swear she died in that scene. <laughs> She's got DJ in there. Let's get out of here. Fucking DJ. <laughs> okay. K- 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 <laughs> wow. Risky one, Travis. That's the character. He's <laughs> acting. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Hux. Pyramid 
<laughs> Hashtag fuck Hux. Look at that raw. So, and that's the problem I always have with the, the throne room scene, that it's great, but I wish it uh, led to a bigger switch of characters. I would have been fine with either one. If Kylo turned good or if Rey turned bad, obviously we'll see what happens in uh, Skywalker. I'm very excited for Palpatine. Yeah, I was really hoping for Rey to turn bad. Just because it would be fun. Something new. Yeah, I guess it's just they would have had to set up somebody else as like a force user, right, to be the protagonist. Yeah, I guess they kind of have to. Maybe Finn. What an epic shot. That's a very beautiful shot. Oh, yeah, it's great, yeah. Mm. Pretty decent. It's all right. And I even think still so much Ky- CGI. I still think Kylo turning good, <laughs> too. Real shit. Like, imagine Rey comes back, she saves these people, and, like, Kylo Ren is with her, and everyone's just like, fuck, this is really awkward. You know what that guy did? But it's just like, and in my in my head canon, it would have been like Snoke survived that throne room, so it's still like Ray and Kylo versus Snoke. Yeah. But I just think that would have been fun of Kylo getting back and being like, "Hey, Resistance brothers!" Like, <laughs> all right, um, huge <laughs> hello, uh, fellow young people. <laughs> yeah. Hello, <laughs> fellow light users. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Man, we saw you kill your dad." Not me. Not me. Yeah. Huge problem I have is them removing the deleted scene here of Phasma when she confronts Finn in the deleted scene, and Finn's like. Basically, um, what would your masters say or your men if I told them or if they knew that you lowered the shields of Starkiller Base? And the stormtroopers all around them look at each other, and then Phasma shoots all her stormtroopers, and then they fight. It was so badass. Yeah. Hmm. Again, no, just they, take it out. And then they take it out because you see her face as well. They, yeah. They, their mask gets broken. I understand two reasons. Well, I understand keeping it because I think it is a good scene. But I think taking out makes sense because they did nothing with her character, so it really yeah. meant nothing. They wrote a book that gave her backstory, but no one read that. Like, okay, people read. <laughs> I the didn't book even I read that. She must have best. Yeah, is that yeah. best car steel? <laughs> <laughs> people, have read, people have read the book, but I'm saying the majority of the mainstream audience does not read canon. And they don't, you know. <laughs> 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 oh! <laughs> but like, I'd be very interested to see after like uh, Rise of Skywalker mainstream how many people have seen Mandalorian, right? You know, like. 15 million are subscribed to Disney Plus. That's a lot. They're doing great, but that's still not the majority of Star Wars mainstream fans, you know? Mm-hmm. So if they're not seeing Mandalorian, they're not reading the fucking Phasma book. Trader! Ooh. But yeah, poor Gwendolyn Christie. She's a great actress and. Not great enough, apparently. Apparently not. I like the sound of her gun there. Pew, pew, pew. Do you think she's milking it pew, right pew, now? Pew. Yeah. <laughs> but luckily, she, you know, got the helmet. Oh, right in the face. There was a gold uh, colored uh, stormtrooper as well. Really? There? Yeah, in Star Wars Resistance. Oh, okay. So not there. There, but not there. And originally. Oh, no, they kept this part in. Um, and originally. Oh, that's CGI. <laughs> yes. I feel like her so eye would be bruised come. a little bit because that blow fucking hurt. Time but some glass shards in her eye. <laughs> yeah. But originally, Captain Phasma's design was for Kylo Ren originally, and then they. Ooh, I'm glad they didn't go with it. I'm that. glad too, but then when they changed it, they're like, "We still really like this design. What would we do with it?" And that's where Christy came in. Obviously, they didn't really do that much with it, but it's fine. Whatever. Need a little. I'm left. over it now. Little, 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 little. What would you feel if Kylo had the same design he has now, but it was silver? That'd be pretty cool. But I like the black with the red lightsaber. It's too shiny. Yeah. I think you need a little something a little more gritty for Kylo. Silver yeah. and gold. <laughs> I, <think this laughs> I forgot about that close-up. I think this part's always a little like debatable, too, because it's strange that she went to kill Kylo. But wait, 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 why did the legs just fall off now? Hux kicked him. Yeah. yeah. Mm, okay. <laughs> this it, is a great scene. I love this. It's great to show that he didn't <laughs> take a shot. But why, if Rey went to go kill Kylo, she clearly woke up before him, didn't kill Kylo here. So that's why I don't like the pacing of that scene. It doesn't make Maybe much sense. Maybe she wasn't even knocked unconscious. We don't know for sure. But then, but he was. He was. But That's we just her saw prime the blast. chance to like take him out, take her out, right? It's true, but sh- I don't know. You're in a panic. You just know you got to get out of there. I don't. So. Yeah, it's strange. It doesn't make Maybe much Chewie sense. Maybe Chewie was beeping her, saying, "I'm here. Let's fuck off." He was beeping her. And okay. this scene is fantastic because they very subtly, in my opinion, because so many people still think Kylo Ren could force Shogun Force Awakens. He can't. This is the first time he does the force show because he's like unlocking his powers because he's getting so filled with hatred. I remember this happening. Or because theaters. he's allowed. I che- yeah, his maybe, parents yeah. are gone, so. But, well, like, I he, cheered in the theater when that happened. Because I love the touch in Force Awakens that he brings people to choke them. He can't do it b- with powers. He has to, like, pretend he's doing it. But now, no, he can fucking do it. And that's where, again, we'll see where Skywalker goes. Because I feel like Ryan Johnson was clearly like, okay, Kylo Ren is now the bad guy. He's becoming full on Sith. And then Skywalker looks like he's a full on good guy. Because. I feel like him unlocking these powers is showing, oh, he's what becoming a Dark user. 
<laughs> I don't actually know. This is definitely DJ. DJ. This is definitely one of the coolest looking planets, in my opinion. Yaku, the salt, uh, like the yeah, salt planet. Yeah. Yeah, the color schemes are just great. I like the creatures too. Critters. What are they called? I don't know why they, they call the Taylor? shield door down already. Oh, you know, demons. just be prepared. What'd you say? Oh yeah. They should Leia. have the shield door down. You know. Leia's like, I want to look at the view. <laughs> they put Leia, their most valuable asset, right at the front. <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, we've seen before. They're strategic. They're non-strategic masterminds. Leia's leading the charge behind <laughs> yeah. Poe there too. <laughs> yeah, she is. Hold your fire. She's ready to fight. She's having Endor flashbacks. <laughs> Show us the Endor. Yeah. Ewoks are pretty much confirmed for Rise of Skywalker. So yeah. Because there's a costume, uh, there's a picture of Warwick Davis wearing, he's the guy that played. Uh, Wicket. Yeah, well, I'm trying. Dylan, do you know who Wicket is? No, yeah. I'm trying to Who's speak Wicket? Star Wars mainstream. He played an Ewok, Ewok when he was 11 years old. In the, and ever since I think he's been in every Star Wars film, he's a little person. Right. But in the behind yeah, I know the scenes. I know who the actor is. Okay. Yeah. In the behind the scenes footage of they just did this overall for Star Wars, they showed Warwick Davis at this age wearing an Ewok costume. And people are like, that doesn't make sense because. Maybe last they just time sent him one as like. He could a be going to Comic Con. <laughs> could be. But he was on set doing mm. something. Because so. last time he wore that, he was 11. Now he's a man. So clearly there's going to be uh, Ewoks in Rise of Skywalker. Well. My joke was that I imagine if Palpatine's first thing coming back was like, let's get rid of those fucking teddy bears. Because <laughs> they did take them down, right? So he doesn't want that happening again. Do you think those things would just taste Just a purge. Good? Those crystal creatures? Yes. I don't do think know if you could really fry them. Do they have actual <laughs> meat on them? You'd have or? to skin them. Yeah, you'd have to skin them. Alive. Like a porcupine. I feel like right? you would die in that process. Skinning them? Yeah. Death Star gloves. Tech. You need get some big Kylo clean gloves pipes. Sure. It's true. <laughs> Voice of Bill Hader. Mario. Right, I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. Everyone go watch Barry. Maybe the greatest show on TV right now. Next to Watchmen. Maybe, but not quite. HBO is killing it right now. Settle down, Taylor. Yeah. That's a long one. <laughs> Mario. Mario. This movie's almost over. I'm not sure what we're watching after. Is she saying she's mad at you? No. Oh. She has chips. She's happy. <laughs> <laughs> so much sass. Yeah, big time. She's not a Last Jedi fan. Yeah, this planet's just great. Oh, I love We're it. We're going to watch all the Star Wars. She likes the Clone Wars or Clone cartoons. Wars. Clone Wars are good. Salt. <laughs> That's the Rogue One director, right? Yeah. This guy? Gareth no, Edwards. No, the guy that says this guy. Which I've pointed Speaking out, which is very strange... He's not directed anything since Rogue One. That's a billion-dollar movie. He's not produced. He's not written. He's not directed a single thing. And maybe a bad experience because there was rumors that he didn't direct a lot of the reshoots. He just kind of sat back. But still, in Hollywood, he directed a billion-dollar movie, and he's done nothing. It's shocking. I was shocked when I looked at that IMDb. Critical praise, too, or like like fans like that movie generally. And on a high note, just retire like Like, Raywell. Yeah, like you said. Yeah, Maybe he's going for a career change. Maybe, yeah. He wants to be an accountant now. And he also directed oh. Monsters, which did well, and the first Godzilla. What is the point of these things, like putting their thing in the ground? Because there actually a mechanical use for that, or is it just because it looks cool? Um, I think it helps balance it out, basically. So? It's kind of like, you know, a sailboat has more balance with the fin protruding all the way down. Protruding. The fin? Yeah. The fin. So this is kind of the same method of a sailboat, but just a Star Wars I version. Without the now, this, way, this is pod racing. Dope, so. Now this is pod racing. Haitian smelt. <laughs> That's something. Oh boy, we're getting these cringeworthy scenes coming up here with Rose and Finn. Oh, and and <laughs> nice to see the AT-ATs making a comeback. These stupid and the things. Gorilla Walkers as Why well. Are they stupid, Dylan. They just yeah. logistically they like with all the technology that is known in this universe. The fact that these exist, right? That they thought like, oh, we need these. Just makes no sense to me. Mm. What's they're wrong with them? They're just so slow. They're so useless. But it's because they're, they're heavily armored. And they have like one gun on them. Well, they don't have one gun. They got. Uh, I don't think it's something <laughs> like flies. Something that flies. Well, they got air support as well. Yeah, I don't know. That's my two cents. Because they never take out any of the walkers because they're so heavily armored, right? Well, Luke does. I saw. Luke doesn't I take I've out seen any them walkers. Getting taken out. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? he no, them up they just fire? blast them and then Kylo fights them and then. They'll oh, well, you meant in this movie. Oh, no, not I mean in this okay. one they don't. I'm no, like, no, no. Luke clearly took yeah, out. Yeah, no, in that one they do, yeah. <laughs> he was, he was lightsabering all over the place. Threw a bomb in there. Yeah. 
This is a very fun map to play on Battlefront 2. I'll show you. It's pretty game. good. It's snipers oh, it's fucking in galore. Taylor, please don't go into if your you diatribe. If you shoot the ground, does it like don't first go red? red? Yeah, I was going to say, don't go into your diatribe about how Battlefront 2 is a great game. Battlefront 2 is an amazing game. If you game. shoot the ground in this map, does it like spark up? That's cool. They hate that ship. <laughs> we must really hate that ship. <laughs> Finn yelling oh, in every star. Get out of here. It's a tradition. Get Chewie out of here. Hashtag Ooh, cancel I Chewie. I like this. <laughs> He didn't do anything. <laughs> so much hatred. I they didn't this. subtitle the woo. They <laughs> didn't. That's I like horrible. this. Just <laughs> <laughs> give it a very thick accent. Thick British accent. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I remember Travis laughing in the theater when that line I was I did, because I just love that even though he's killed Han Solo, he still <laughs> hates his dad so much. He's like, <laughs> pull up. Like, never mind the people on the ground. Just everyone shoot at that ship, because I hate my father. Because he was a deadbeat. Even though I it mean was, he was though. It was no. It was <laughs> more. I, I, it's definitely Leia's fault, and she admits that in the first one. I love the score here. Han was kind of like, I don't know if he should go with Luke, and Le Leia and Luke kind of like strong hand them, like, hey, but he's a Jedi. He needs to be a Jedi. That's what it sounds like. So got the classic Battle of Endor theme kicking in here. Yep. Another thing too that made me tear up was just seeing Chewie in the cockpit alone handling the Falcon, just with yeah. no Han Solo. Next movie is going to have Lando there helping him out. They're going to come back, Billy. Nope, Lando will be wearing Han Solo's clothes Lando. as well. No, Chewie will as well. His, Lando. His solo prequel clothes. Yeah. For some reason. <laughs> He's waiting for the right occasion to bust him out again. For some reason, Ray did not get out of that chair. Ray's getting fucked up. She's <laughs> like, I hope this works out. <laughs> she likes it too much. Is it like Laura Dern's chair? <laughs> yeah, it is. This thing reminds me of the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, the Lord of the Rings. totally. Big battering ram. The big battering ram. I think it just aesthetically looks beautiful. It it's Death Star tech. Mini Death Star tech. <laughs> uh oh, taking heavy losses. Mm -hmm. That was a funny little interaction um, when Kylo tells everyone sh to sh fire the, sh the speeders. Mm -hmm. and then Is it Hux? Look at those guns, Dylan. They're husk. just picking them I think apart. It's husk. It must be Hux. It's Husk, I believe. <laughs> husk. Like S-U-K. 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 <laughs> Sorry, you know. <laughs> Silent you. <laughs> General Suck. <laughs> Got him. Finn has got that serious he face on. He's got a little sweaty. He's got the serious he's got face. Some sweat on his yeah. brow. This is pod racing. <laughs> That's come up at least four times now. <laughs> I love it. She's it like, Finn, this isn't pod, pod racing. Oh, he, this moves isn't <laughs> pod racing. <laughs> he moves the microphone aside. He does not want to hear it. Racing what we love, not what we hate. Uh oh. What is this thing called? The Hammer of Dawn? It's a mini Death Star tech. That's what it's called? That's all that. That's what Finn calls it. Yeah, that's all we Mini know. Death Star tech. That's what Finn calls it. He doesn't know the official name, does he? He doesn't. He's just a janitor. I guess he was employed by the moment. Sanitation. I feel like his skin would be melting off. I 100% thought Finn was going to perish here. Perish. What, do you what, what, do you, what about you, Taylor? I thought he was going to die, yeah. too. What are you, Dillon? Um, back when I first saw it, geez, yeah. I cannot remember what I thought. Hey, Travis, did you think he was going to die here? 100%. Yeah. I was definitely borderline tears. Yeah? Yeah. Your tears for Finn? Oh, borderline. Borderline. <laughs> <laughs> and Rose. Come on, no he way. probably went to Disney and was like, yeah, was I'm so going to need you guys to kill off my character. I'm getting too busy with Pacific Rim 2. And even then, this doesn't make sense. And she's like, you got to fight for what you love. He is. Because if he does that, <laughs> that door is no longer going to be blown open. But her saving him means all his but friends are... maybe that wouldn't have worked, though. What? Maybe that wouldn't have worked. But let's just say it did. Let's say he crashed into it, shuts down this gun, the door doesn't he get just, open. He just, like, strangles her. Oh, yeah. was going to end doing? this. <laughs> but, like... It's just, like, the door gets blown open and all his friends and the rest of the people left get killed. She could be an Imperial s or uh, First no Order <laughs> sleeper cell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all along. Red like Jar Jar. Like Homecoming. <laughs> like Jar Jar yeah. the Hidden Sith. Yeah, like Winter Soldier. Homecoming. Yeah. Fox Lux. Fox Car. Cells Pod racing. interlinked. Pod racing. <laughs> yeah. Cells interlinked. Interlinked. Cells. But it just, it makes no sense. 
She be, she was completely Snip selfish because she just wanted the D. This and then is just kiss. so cheesy. He oh. didn't even pucker his lips either. It's she so went in bad. forward and he didn't respond. He like pulls back. Something, oh. el- something else is but puckering. Just so much of her dialogue and her actions do not match up continually, scene through scene. It's just, I don't get Does it. Does that even blow a hole? Yeah. Barely. H-U-X, this guy. <laughs> trying, to, trying to tell me his name S-U-K. is General, General Husk. <laughs> <laughs> you thought his name was General Huss? I asked him, and that's what he's. That's what he's General doing. Huss. And then he said S U K. It's canon. Look at the credits. Is that what it says? Yeah, that's right. Gen- Johnson said an interview. No, that's General S U K. General Husk. That's not how you spell Husk. S U K. S U K. Yeah, he said S U K. Yeah. So hit General Socks. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact: Ryan Johnson didn't really care for having. Uh, <laughs> Luke and C three PO actually have a moment together. No, so that's no, that's isn't not that a thing. No, I read that in an article. It was a headline, not an article. <laughs> yeah, I read yeah. that in the Cause headline. Because all that Mark, I think it was Mark Hamill that was talking about it. The best that he got was just basically giving the wink to C three PO, but he wanted more with but him. No, 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 no. But he might want more, but that's not how the story went. He didn't care for it. He put it in his own movie. He could. What happened was, is oh. Luke in the script walks by and does nothing, and he went to Ryan and was like, well. Luke, known C-3PO for many years. Don't you think you would acknowledge him? And Ryan Jones went, oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. So he's like, well, let's uh, – and I, I do think, yeah, same thing. But J.J. did the same mistake where Chewbacca didn't hug Leia after yeah. Han died. So I think it, when you're making a movie of this magnitude and scope, you're bound to let something slip. Mm. I think it was a good thing. But he did not, not care for the scene. He didn't he like, care. He hated the idea. He slashed down that script like he slashed down Ben Solo. <laughs> yeah. The acting they got here, I think, is great between oh, them both. Phenomenal. I think this is Carrie Fisher's best acting because I don't think she gets much to do in this franchise, unfortunately. I think she's going to do a lot in Nine, but we don't get that. Yeah, this definitely makes me pull back my hatred on the the, yeah. the near death scene just because this is such a great moment between the two. You guys, otherwise we wouldn't have gotten that, right? Do you wish that he whipped out a green saber instead of the and just killed original yes. blue one again? Oh, 100 percent. Always comes back to blue. <laughs> but. You like just what you like, you know. What about in that scene? He's just like Darth Maul's saber. It just he like doesn't he doesn't wanted. explain he anything. Yeah, it was whatever he wanted. No, that wouldn't fit thematically. What one side is green, one side's red. That's what's so <laughs> interesting about this <laughs> scene, though, and about this movie is two reasons. One, I love the line, "No one's ever really gone." I that has yeah. actually stuck with me since I saw this. But the thing is, the whole movie, he has been talking about how Ben Soul can't be saved. But this line, and he says something to Kylo a bit. The score that kicks in here for all. The score of The Spark and The Last Jedi, those two tracks are fantastic. But he says to her, no one's ever really gone. So it's strange that the movie for a long time posits for that Kylo's turning evil and Luke thinks there's no shot. But there's still a part of him where he's like, yeah. he's not fully gone. So it's weird that it, like Luke is definitely in like some sort of situation where he he's unclear or he doesn't fully know. I don't know what they're trying to posit there. And hopefully Nine will make that a bit more clear somehow. Do you think it's a dick move that he gave Leia a dice that'll disappear? No, I think it's just the mean and the sentiment yeah, to it. Definitely. It's kind of like me buying you a car, but then it disappears after, like, five minutes. Because I don't know if that's the same thing. are we going to use dice in the same way? <laughs> <laughs> because later on in this fight, he says to so- – he's, like, getting oh. all – he's fighting Kylo, but then he's like, I failed you, Ben. And it's just like he, he's trying to appeal to his good side one last time, so maybe it shows that Ray gave him a little hope, so – yeah, the score, the Oh, this is definitely one of my favorite scenes in the middle, too. I love how subtle it is, too, that we didn't think to... I don't know if some of you guys noticed the sand or the salt was not moving underneath his feet. Because I obviously, I, like, I didn't notice it. I didn't it. notice. And I think that's just a, s- a great subtleness to it. Well, and I think that's the fact that the blue lightsaber is supposed to pick up. Like, well, this doesn't make sense. That lightsaber just exploded. I love the. I love this. And I love there's a moment, too, they let Donald Gleason be like, serious dramatic actor for a second and it's i really like it he tells him to stop fighting and he's like that's enough it's yeah i don't think we're gonna get too much of hux and kylo in nine which is unfortunate because i love their dynamic we're gonna get hux and uh what's the other imperial officer yeah I think. richard e grant yeah. yeah is that like a new version of the at ats with like it looks like yeah, they have like, like a back in gorilla walker so oh, they're okay. like heavily armored War. and you look at the front of their legs they're kind of like gorilla fists yeah do you think if we shave Very Tyler Saris down, he'd look like Adam Driver? He has the long, long. He could. Long I've tried to get him to shave it. We should tell him to. Just for the fans, you know. This part is great. Probably didn't have to yell it to them. He's just He's an like, angry guy. guys, I'm right here. <laughs> He's more exerted than when he touched Ray. Yeah, when I saw that scene originally, I thought Luke was going to deflect all the bolts with the force <laughs> and take out all the walkers. Yeah, that's, that's a fan service. <laughs> yeah. But this is just as good. Yeah. 
beautiful shot from the wrist. Red He's just smoke. pure naked though. Like it just didn't. No it, clothes. It, it, it didn't break his skin, but his it just burnt his clothes. <laughs> Full on hard on. <laughs> I failed you, Ben. <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> I failed you, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if only. <laughs> I love it. If only we lived in that yeah. Travis was laughing multiple away, so. times. In the I theater. love their dynamic. It's great. <laughs> Hux is just such a little shit, and Kylo is just, just he is. He's had a rough day. He oh, yeah. he is going through so much crap right now. He just got turned down. One he bad day. Mastered. He mm. has taken over entire empire. Yeah, like. he probably hasn't slept in three days at least. Yeah. And now he sees this man that he hates even more than his father, Luke Skywalker. And I was just happy for Adam Driver that he got to be in a scene with Mark Hamill. So. Because this is definitely like, Ray's not really doing much in this finale. She moves some rocks and flies around. Like I said, this movie's about... Kylo Ren. Kylo. I think he's the greatest Star Wars character of all time. Legit. Best ridden, in my opinion. He is the last Jedi. So. I like his cape. I'm glad he has it in this scene. No. I like the way he activates his <laughs> saber, too. Kylo. Yeah, when he's like... <laughs> yeah. He does like the whole foot motion. Drops That's great. Cape. No capes. Yeah. Oh, great stance. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I don't like the glove Luke's wearing, by the way. I no. wish it was black. But yeah, I would agree. With it's you. like they lost it on set. They're like, yeah, just give him Ryan's glove. Does someone have a glove? We need it for the scene. Yeah. Hey, you, <laughs> glove wearer. <laughs> I think when I first gasped, I was excited. He didn't have a lightsaber, but when he does like the Matrix, like kneel down and flip yeah. Luke Skywalker, I was like, holy shit! Luke's learned some stuff since we last saw him. It was great. Oh, yeah. I remember too, like honestly, not everything I loved about this movie when I saw it the first time, but this lead up of oh, it's Luke and Kylo, and they're about to go, it's about to go down, all the history he's fighting, you know, Vader's grandson, his own blood, the guy he almost assassinated. It's like the what? What are they called? I must know. I'm sure there's you look up uh, together. What is Craig this planet Ritter called again? Ritter. Craigie? The movie's called Last Jedi. No, what's is the it? planet called? Craigie? Crate. Craigie? Crate. Technically, they could open the doors and escape in the transports, couldn't they? Because they don't, they're don't they not tracking them again, so they could just beam out of there. Yeah, but they got to go out that beam front door, right? Yeah, but they're all distracted. Really out. awkward when Leia's like, hey, Ben, <laughs> and then runs away. Hey, Ben, how you doing, bud? <laughs> I think there's a little too much time in between Kylo, and I think that's one problem with the finale multiple times even with kylo and ray fighting i think they use too many cuts to intersplice the characters doing stuff because yeah. luke yeah. and ben are just standing there right now for so long it's just it it doesn't match up still just standing not saying anything. yeah exactly right so it's i, th I think the pacing of the ending uh, even though that's good stuff not the greatest and i don't know why they brought a pork with them because uh Chewy. chewy's now a vegan because mm -hmm. of them yeah I think there is rumors a pork is going to appear in episode nine because he's on a so. poster. Why would they not? Yeah. yeah, why would it not? Why should they? It's an easy prediction. It's been a year. I like porgs. Kids like porgs. I guess. Everyone loves porgs. Especially the younglings. Come on, Poe. Let's fucking go for it. Yeah, why are you yelling? No, get start moving the rocks. Like yeah, they're they're digging. Yeah. <laughs> Leia, yeah, put your Come back for Leia, me. put your back into it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> we should have kept Laura Dern. Lifting rocks. Oh, yeah. They've been standing like that the whole time. Just yep. waiting. For three minutes straight. Just looking at each other. Oh, yeah. But that's that smirk. But th they were smart not to show Luke's feet yeah. right yeah. back to back. Because then you would be like, what the fuck? But you are seeing Luke Skywalker fight, so you forget about it. Yeah. You're like, okay. Let's see, that was smart. Just a few. But, and it was quick. Very well done. Adam Driver killing the acting right now. Just looks like he wants to murder Luke Skywalker so bad. Yes. Which that's where you can see in the Skywalker clips. He want he's fighting right that right there, and he does this cool like just a little bit off the top. Oh yeah, look at that. Hair. Oh, I failed you, Ben. Fail you. <laughs> I'm sure you. Don't. It sounds like when you <laughs> when you mess up a mission. It's so bratty. In in that stance. Oh yeah. I love that. I'm sure you are. Boy, well, we said the movie title. Whoa. I love when they do that. In what's, that? what's that? What's that? What's that? That phenomenon called? 
There's a word for it. I the know Last Jedi? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> See, they're just lighting it up in the back. <laughs> Yo, was that Finn? I thought he died. Rose is unconscious in the background. See that? No. Um, Look at those green eyes. Come on, Ray. Got to remove some rocks. Solid. CG on the rocks, not the greatest, but... Not yeah. the worst. Those are actually real rocks floating. They're, they're no episode five. I think that's high. They went to the moon to film. Mandalorian. Go check out our review. Can you imagine, like, a few hundred years, we're going to be going to the moon just to film, like, scenes for movies? That's where human tech is going to be. I don't think we will be. What? what? That's no. what China's doing right now. That's what China's doing right now. Oh. This undefined relationship, but whatever. It's a sweet scene, nonetheless. Mm-hmm. Look at those score is great here. I'll destroy her. So good. He's like, you, her, me. The Hux. women, <laughs> the <Yeah>. children. <laughs> the porgs. Great line. Mm-hmm. Just like your father. Yeah, oh. and that's why I'm hoping we get in episode nine. I want yeah. him to be haunting Kylo because that would just mess with him. I love the look. Right, yeah, I love this. Pipes all this. And Luke just pops in. Just so the slow-mo, oh, yeah. the music. I love Hamill's expression. <laughs> Kyle's just going for it. <laughs> just going for it. And I like because you just assume, oh, they're doing the Ben Kenobi thing. You're going to look. That's why I went right through him because, yeah. oh, he's going to turn their force ghost. And then this is when, oh, see, everyone figure out. But it was like, oh, shit, he's not real, is he? And that's why I thought he was going to survive. Because I'm like, oh, this is clever. But it's like, oh, no. This revelation score that clued in is so good. Oh, yeah. And then when Kylo turns around and yells, mm-hmm. the, the music beat they give him is so good. See you around, kid. One of the most Luke Skywalker, like, lines, but also kind of tied in there with Han Solo. Like, the way he delivers it is Luke Skywalker, but, it, like, it's a Han Solo line. It's just, oh. Yeah, so good. And that's why I still think I'm gonna say no, but I still think there's a chance Harrison Ford films something for Episode Nine, flashbacks. I just the solo household. <laughs> oh, not that. <laughs> yeah. No. Just like his father. Oh yeah. You killed her in your anger. <laughs> you mean grandfather? <laughs> yeah. You threw me off. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> trick question. <laughs> you passed. When did Harrison Ford you say passed. that? <laughs> no. He was talking about that with Greedo, because Greedo's girlfriend, right? <laughs> Shout out to Greedo. <laughs> those yellow eyebrows. Yeah, those are some yellow brows. Twin sons. A little on the nose, but it works. Ben? Ben Kenobi? Benjamin? You will go to the Dagobah system. Dagobah system. All right, kid. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very long movie, this one is. The longest Star Wars movie in history. Two, Two hours, 35 minutes. minutes. Do we know runtime of uh, episode nine? 221. Oh, shorter. Yep. By a landslide. It was, lo- it was reported that was longer, but then JJ finished the movie actually last week at time that's recording, and I came was 221, so he might have cut some stuff. JJ's great at finishing, so. Oh, yeah. Well, this is the first thing he's ever finished. Hey, oh. There's two sons? Looks like C-3PO's eyes. That's what he's thinking about. <laughs> I should have said something to see. P- <laughs> that, <show. yeah. laughs> that droid my grandpa. Should have given him the dice. <laughs> that droid my father made. Whoa, where'd he go, guys? He's a force ghost now. Oh. Yep. He's one with the force. He's he with can Qui-Gon. Create, he, can help, he can help fight Palpatine with force yeah. lightning and shit like that. Yeah, true. It's not force lightning. It's natural it's lightning. It's force lightning. It's natural lightning. He created the lightning. It came from the clouds. It came from, from the clouds. Probably favorite tribute right here. Why do you say that? Revenge of the Sith. This it's is Revenge of the Sith. This is the First Order theme. No. Nice the try, shot Charles. with him and all the troopers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. He didn't even I pick up on his favorite Star Wars I thought you were talking wow. about the score. No, his favorite Star Wars is Rogue One. Yeah. I guess favorite, uh, second favorite Star Wars movie. Yeah. It's still so weird to me. Rogue One. Yeah. It's quite a scene. So theme. good. That Darth Vader scene. Sexy can I. And Speaking of Darth Vader scenes. Zones. Darth Vader scenes. What if he was like, I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Join me. My name is Ben. But, like, I love his act. Just that little head nod. It's almost like he's wanting to go on the ship. But it's like, no, I can't do that. Peak. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just a little over the jeans action. 
I'm surprised the dice took this long to disappear. That's a scene that made me mad in Force Awakens that they cut out Kylo Ren on the Falcon. I hope they do. I, that should happen in nine. That What's he the scenario? When they crash to get on there to save Ray, they like stormtroopers and find it, and he goes on there, mm, and he's just also cool. he's like sends a bunch of stuff. But I think JJ might do that in nine because I think if him and Ray are palling around and teaming up, yeah. him being back on his dad ship. And this is why canon doesn't matter, Taylor, because in the novelization of Star Wars The Force Awakens, they, the meet, texts. they meet and have a conversation. But nope, not in well, the Well, it's movie. weird because you think they would have met on Force Awakens as well. Yeah. Too, well, they right? did in the book, but that's why canon doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Because Pablo Hidalgo, Sometimes you just forget about Pablo Hidalgo you who's in charge of canon, when they ask about versus the books, they're canon managers until the movies say otherwise. So that, to me, told me everything. Oh, canon doesn't give... They don't give two shits about comic books and video games. Because if they say, oh, if the movies want to change, they can. That's why I still think Darth Maul should be in the Obi-Wan show and just say, fuck Rebels. Let's bring them back and put them in there. There's a chance. Yeah, I hope so. He's got a higher chance than Darth Vader. I'll tell you that much. Mm, How badly that would far. it break the animated show if Darth Vader comes to Obi-Wan? If Darth Vader comes to Obi-Wan? Oh, sorry, break Darth Maul. Darth Maul. It, it, um, it, de it depends yeah. on what context, because they could redo what they did. Of There's a lot that they skipped out of, like, the confrontation yeah. of Maul finding Obi-Wan. why is everyone happy? Like, why is Poe smiling? Like, you gotta wait, yeah, but, like, so many people are fucking dead now. Like, this is depressing. They're happy because they're gonna go get the boy here. <laughs> right. Next generation. <laughs> right. Broom kid. I forgot about broom, broom kid. kid. Broom yeah. kid. Yeah. It's broom child. I like this, though. I like this idea because it shows, oh, his legend's growing. Yeah. You know. Even when he uses the force, I think when he holds the broom, like a lightsaber is a little oh, much. Oh, look at that guy! One corner portion. Yeah, you don't want to be getting down. You don't want to clean his pipes. Yeah. No. The theater gasps. <gasps> like I love that. That was great. Yeah, very subtle. But then there's one non-subtle shot coming up. It's like, what is he even doing He's here? He's not a good sweeper. I'm not. Yeah, gonna that's lie. really poor sweeping. It's like he just made it worse, if anything. <laughs> go, sw go back there. Someone's what are you gonna doing? trip on that. Yeah, seriously. I think every one of us who's a Star Wars fan has had a moment where you're holding a broom or something and you just feel like you're a Jedi. You yeah, like in, like in Arrested it, yeah. Development when George, <laughs> George Michael's Always playing in the garage. What if you like recolored the First Order logo on the ring? And Kylo has an apprentice. <laughs> Everyone's a I Jedi. That was great. Mm. Master Slave. Well, that's that's terrible. A little cheesy. Well, but it's kind of weird that they like misspelled Ryan Johnson's name in the mm. uh, <laughs> thing there. Kathleen Kennedy. Yo, shout out to the Kennedy. J.J. Abrams. Yeah. Oh, Fuller well, House. I don't watch Fuller House. <laughs> no, we'll keep the credits on. <laughs> Fuller House review? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Commentary track the entire season. Well, so good. you wanted to know what was the label of was J J D D D J or DJ? Yeah. Yeah. DJ. Well, DJ. Well, we're going to do outro stuff, so what we'll uh, get to see it. I, I was curious. Yeah. What do you forget? Did Carrie Fisher pass away before this came out? Yeah. Okay. You don't remember? Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> Because she yeah. passed in in December, right? And then this came out in, like, March or something? Mm, oh, well, she passed December the previous year. Because she passed right before Rogue One. Oh. Or no, she passed after Rogue right. One. Because then when you saw the next time it had young Leia, it was, like, really, like, weird that Leia was. Right. Didn't this come out, like, just a few months after Rogue One? No, it came out a whole year after. Yeah. Rogue One was Rogue 2016 and yeah, 2017. Oh, right, because Solo was, was the one that came out Solo was like March. March. Solo's right, the one right. where, like, Infinity War's coming out. What should we do? Let's put it out three weeks after Infinity War. And, like, okay. Just hide it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> hide it in plain sight. <laughs> yeah, why are we doing <laughs> this? <laughs> Wait, when, when is she in the movie? She's Maz. It's just really? saying these okay. names, but it's not saying who they are. They will. No, Andy's they will in a second. Oh, they will. Okay. They, this is like the first Gwendolyn. line. Gwendolyn. But uh, yeah, she's hopefully Lapita gets nominated for us this year. I'm really hoping because that's Lord one Dern. of the best Lord the Dern. She'll definitely be getting a Golden Geek. Frauds. But uh, yeah, that's how they use Lupita Nyong'o. Yo, hey man. Actresses of all Benicio time. del Toro getting that end. Yeah, that's important. Solomon the machine partner. Miss misspelled his name. Who? Gary Fisher. Who got top billing in this movie? Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. Yeah. Okay. Markathan. Dude, Ham. Taylor, can you name the only movie to not be billed from a character or actor playing a non Jedi? Every movie has had the top bills uh, been a Jedi except for one. Isn't it Force Every Awakens? Star Wars movie? Hey, Dash Taylor. Yeah. Are we talking Probably Han Solo. include spin offs? Well, no, no, just the no main saga. It's got to be Han Solo with, like, New Hope or something, right? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably saying New Hope, I would think. Dylan, your own New Hope? 
Uh, that was just a spur of the moment pick. I'll stick with it. I'm sticking with no, what I said. Kirkland's right with Force Awakens. Oh, Force Awakens, really? Yeah. Who did? Here's oh, Ford, Ford, baby. Top villain, yeah. Right. That's yeah, what I that, said. I said. What is it? <laughs> nine digits or whatever he got. I think yeah. I, I think, think it was ten. Now it's nine <laughs> digits. He got a hundred million dollars. <laughs> he got like ten percent of the t- the Disney buy. Who got top billing in in Force in New Hope? Uh, I think Hamill or maybe Alec Guinness, to be honest. He was pretty famous oh, back then. Oh, let's see DJ on there. Yeah, DJ. Fuck off. Yoda, Frank Don't Oz. Join. Frankie Oz. The wonderful wizard that well, is Frank. Well, you guys give your, your thoughts about watching it another time, and then maybe your thoughts on Skywalker, and I'll get an answer for who got top billing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think I'm pretty much the same on this as when I watched it last time which is JGL. you know slightly more i liked it than the first time i watched it, i guess there's definitely some good stuff but i feel like it's also just quite cheesy at times and there's some dodgy acting at moments and whatnot but overall it's pretty fun you know i'm i'm, I'm really excited for episode nine to see what happens hopefully some fun stuff that goes on and not just some predictable baloney predictable baloney baloney yeah i'm pretty surprised Dave that Filoni. it hasn't dropped more points than i thought it would um over, like it's pretty much similar feeling that I had when I walked out of the theater for like the third time that I saw it in the theater. It has a strong out. like last half an hour. Yeah. Right? Oh, absolutely. And uh, just a lot of big like like heavy scenes that I felt like carried me over like the rough stuff. Um, like I had a little epiphany here with you guys today that I actually I'm kind of happy that like the Carrie Fisher scene like didn't end that way because like we talked about we wouldn't have had that moment between her and Luke so. I think I like that a little bit more. I still think it could have been handled a little bit better. I don't think she had to fly into space, personally. I think they could have just, like, do, 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 I don't know, had an explosion in the ship, and she still, like, was injured, but she didn't have to fly through. I don't know. Yeah. It, it, that'll forever just be a little rough <laughs> for me. That's but uh, overall, I, uh, I I still think it was a really solid movie, and uh, I'm going to stand by it about being in the minority of people that like this. I don't think you're minority. I think it's, like, a 50-50. That's okay. I like it. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't say I love it. Yeah, I feel the same way I did at the beginning. Ma- Mark Hamill got top billing in all the actual original How many times so. have you seen this movie? Uh, too many to count. Like over 10? Yeah, for sure. Probably probably somewhere in the 50 mark. He's always something. shouting more 50 like or Kylo 15? does. 50, he probably. 50? Yeah, usually. Well, Five, zero times? I think so. Holy. He loves years. Rose. That's his favorite Star Wars character. Yeah, it's the Kylo Ren. I can That's watch crazy, that stuff man. all the time. And maybe, but this one, though, I will say when I watch Force Awakens, I watch start to finish. There's many times where I'll watch like 30 minutes and pause it and then come back to like later in the night. Some it doesn't hook me as much as Force Awakens. I think I agree with you that the ending is really strong, but there's many times where when that other stuff's going on, and I'm like, oh, I'll come back to this. Where Force Awakens, I'm in it, start to finish. I'm, but because uh, yeah, I do. I that's the stuff that always frustrates me when I, I praise the stuff, the Kylo, Luke, and Ray stuff. It's done so well. I just wish the rest of the movie was like that. The great moments, but. Uh, yeah, I like it. Also, you can check out our prediction cast. We're going to get into like, who could die, who could lo- live, blah, blah, blah. But, who um, could love? Uh, Schmoge or what whatever. What you love? Schmoge. Schmoge. But, uh, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm i very excited for Rise of Skywalker. I still like this. This is definitely, we've ranked them before, but it's like in the middle of the pack, the Star Wars movie. I still think it's better than all the prequels. Uh, Wrong. But I, go, <laughs> I always go Empire, New Hope, Force Awakens. Uh, Return of the Jedi, and then this. So it's like literally like right there in the middle. So yeah, very well made movie. I'm um, excited to see how Episode Nine does some things. Shapes with it. up. Taylor, hi. How many times have you seen this? Over fifty times. I don't even know how many times I've seen yeah, it. Yeah, that's the thing. I, all, I just like, don't know. All these new Star Wars movies, and especially Last Jedi. This has just been actually the one that's just I've always seen on Netflix, and I would just play it just because I enjoy watching I agree. it. And then I've seen it a few times with just the score. So it's it's just it, this I find is one of the stars movies that is so easily rewatchable, and it's funny how it has that element and and I do enjoy it. I I can't remember exactly <laughs> the number rating I gave it in our. You were pretty review. high. I think you were like nine or above. It was high, and I'm not gonna. Like, you and you said at that point you liked it better than Force Awakens, but it sounds like you've turned back on that over the years. Do you know years. what my rating was? I think you okay. were maybe like an eight point five okay. nine. Same thing. You said you liked it more than FA. So I I I'd, I'd still stand exactly where where I am like with it. Like I still I I'm not gonna read number rated. I'm gonna keep it where it is because I I stand by that. Rating. But you ranked but it. You don't know what though. that is, number is. I don't know what it is. So you're but gonna stand by it, but you don't know what it is. Yeah, I yeah. can't remember, but okay. I stand by it because I trust that if it was high like what you're saying, then I I'd, I'd stand by that. But the ranking I do enjoy the it. ranking you switched because on our four year you surprised me by ranking this lower than FA. That was the surprise to me. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> my <laughs> I like I, I definitely do enjoy a lot of what Force Awakens did <laughs> over this and I'm just excited for Rise of Skywalker just so we can like trust in JJ. Yeah, trust in JJ. It's just it's it's really hard to believe that, you know, us as like the podcast have had the opportunity the to review and see this whole new trilogy of Star Wars movies. And just be given that opportunity. I think it's great. Because I just remember walking out of the theater with Last Jedi and thinking, well, we have two years to go before Rise of Skywalker. And now oh, we're yeah. here. Yeah. It's crazy to think that. We're less than a few weeks away at the time yeah. of this recording. So, yeah, we'll be there if you want to check it out. Please do. We're going to do a full review, spoilers breakdown. If you've listened, if you jumped on because of our Endgame review, we're going to do a similar thing for Skywalker. I think it's going to be a, a long, juicy podcast because it's an long end of a saga. And juicy, and we're not, just like Kylo's pipes. And we're not getting a Star Wars film until 2022, right? So it's three year gap from now. So it's like it's not a long wait, obviously, as the prequels to this, but still, the long Hopefully, our cast will still be running. Oh, yeah. We'll still be rocking and rolling. You know, Rock we'll be, you know, in someone's basement or, you know, something Shout like that. Shut out to basements. Yeah, yeah. But if you have a Patreon, maybe we won't be in a basement. Maybe we'll be, you know, if you're a Patreon. Thrones boudoir. Yeah, if you're on Patreon. <laughs> Patreon, uh, we could have been. You could get this early. You know, that's what you do. So please support us. There. Man, Netflix really want. Yeah, we're Shout out go to back Disney. To, we're Plus. gonna go over to Fuller House now. If you want to join us. For that. Shout that out to right. Disney Plus, so you can turn off the autoplay. No, I didn't want more info on that. No. Yeah, but Disney Plus Season also doesn't five. recall like what you most previously watched. It does. Yeah, it does now. They updated it. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe you. And they yeah. also show you. No, that's not true. Because I literally went on Disney Plus yesterday. Continue watching episode four. Did you and it, it though? Didn't pop up. Did you update it? It, it definitely has that. Yeah, I, I have for this. They heard you talking shit about Mark Hamill. Not on my PS4. Yeah, not today. Something al- something also they added is they show you when a new episode comes out, whereas before yeah. they, w- they wouldn't show you if like, yeah. a new episode comes out. Yeah, I'll, g- I'll give them that. I'll give them that. Fifty Shades Darker. Ooh. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we did <laughs> the there, last please Hunter. Great movie. go Vin subscribe to everything <laughs> <laughs> down <laughs> below. <laughs> that movie's so terrible. <laughs> 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 yeah, we did Netflix and Fail. Check God, out The Last Witch Hunter. That's one of my least favorite movies of all time. Yeah, and we suck. So bad. And if you like this commentary track, Patreon 2020, we're going to be doing lots of good juicy movies. You've heard some announced. There's some that are secret. It's very exciting. Taylor, where can they find us on the rest of the interwebs? Ladies and gentlemen, with the internet connection, you can find us in the search bar, Geek for Space podcast. Lots of great stuff. Make sure you check yes. out our Mandalorian reviews that are dropping weekly, except for the one uh, we're doing the one Wednesday uh, right well, away. That's right? weekly. That's them. Are we the doing schedule? what day are we doing that on? We'll is do it like Wednesday. We're doing it on the Wednesday. Well, yeah, because then the day after is Ride Skywalker in that review, so we we push right. like Mando review like back a few days. That's so we'll, that's gonna be a good week. We'll do yeah. We got yeah. literally Mando and Skywalker back to back Wednesday and then Thursday. That is a Star Wars filled week. Yeah, but check out we checked we reviewed Jedi Fallen Order. Check out all the commentary tracks down below. Just go down the description below is where you have the video and audio feeds. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you for the rise of Skywalker episode nine, the return of JJ. Until then, it won't be boring. And may the force be with you. Always. Always. Bye bye.